Hello, 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 everybody. I am Neon Ice Ewings, and we are continuing our adventure here in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Quite honestly, all I did while off stream was uh, do a bit of Pokedex, catch a few Pokemon, came, aclo came across the Munchlax out of nowhere, and uh, discovered there's a few... Uh, what are they? Machokes around the waterfall. Grabbed a few more unknown. In fact, uh, let's take a look. Wrong button. Yeah, we don't have that many unknown, all things considered. But, there was a thing. Because, uh... While also, I got the proper stone so that we can get Gallade. I ran into a distortion field and got a few magnemites. And uh, I also looked up what some of these things did in normal Pokemon games. And some like these I've discovered are specifically meant to evolve Pokemon that otherwise evolve from trading, which is super cool. We just need to find the proper stone. Here it is, the Dawn Stone. And then we have, because we have a few evolutions. I can't evolve my Sneasel, because we need a Razor Claw, I believe. And I still need a few more Lost and Found points for that. But first things first, evolve my boy, Lancelot. We probably won't actually use him, because level different. Well, maybe. Maybe. We'll have to look over my Pokemon to decide. Hello, Purple Fire Kitty. How are you this evening? We are here continuing of evolving some Pokemon. Since I discovered how to evolve some Pokemon. And then this to my Rhydon. So that he can evolve. Woot woot. Good, I got to make art earlier. Huzzah! I keep getting distracted by things that I need to make art. Ah, I completely did not know that right. Like, I knew Rhyperior existed. But I didn't know that Rhyperior came from Rhydon. Mainly because I'm... I'm silly. Hmm. Need to decide. Level everyone up. I like the... The grit system, for some reason. It interests me. But Woot Woot! New Pokémon for the Diddly D. Put a bunch away, make room in the satchel. Anything that needs to go. Ah, uh, yes, you. Pep ups. Alright. I need to think. Let's go to... Wrong button. Here, and look at the side missions that I can diddly do. Alright, for Cherim, I discovered that they are indeed rare tree spawns. So that's a little annoying. And so far, they only appear in a handful of places in the Obsidian Fields and the Maya Lands. Eerie Apparition. Uh, oh yeah, I need to turn in because I found a bunch of wisps. So we can get some diddly dees from Vesa. Double the tails, double the fun. I discovered which Pokemon was that. We still need to do Octillery. And Machoke. We can also do that because I caught a... The proper bee from the proper grove. You have a star bit in your inventory. I keep forgetting that. I need to sell that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Can't do that until we get to the next area, I assume. Can't do that until we get to the next area, I assume. Catch the Pokemon captured in Degaro. I guess we could try, but I think that's a Turtwig. And that's like a rare spawn in one place. And then the Sea's Legend! Of which I will have to look up where to get the proper thing. Because as we discussed last time, the Sea's Legend is a little shenaniganry. It's, an in it's interesting, it's cool, but a little shenaniganry. Because 
you o you can only discover what the sea's legend story is in Blinding Pearl something Diamond, the remakes of Diamond and Pearl for the Switch. And then you can take that information and do this quest. A little out there, I kind of like it. I kind of, I'm kind of annoyed by it, but hey, you can look it up. And uh, what I do know is we need a Buzel, a Mantike, and a specific Quillfish. So I'll have to do that. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Yes. For some reason, like Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby stick with me. The Diamond and Pearl remakes, they don't stick with me for some reason. But we're going to go do our various turn-ins. And we'll have to go grab comb bees from other groves, apparently. I collected 55. There's 52 left to find. Got a 50. Here. A linking cord. I already have those. If you find five more, I'll give you a little reward. Mokey doke <laughs> and there's my giant Snorlax boy. Did you bring one of those Pokemon off two fins? Yes, I just need to find it. It was a specific Pokemon. I tried to put some of the unknown in here, so they're just out of the way. Because while I, I think I caught the evolved form of the twin-tailed fish, which I think is a little shenanigans. Yeah, but what do I know? So yeah, caught the Alpha Luminion. Yeah, it's too big. What we need is the other one. It should be around here somewhere, I think. Yes, over here! Finion! Hi, Brilliant Diamond. I feel like the names for the remakes could have been a little bit more unique. Maybe. I have no idea what I would make them. Like, uh, something Pearl Unbreakable Diamond. The way it wiggles its fins is so adorable. It's like they're fluttering in the wind. You've outdone yourself on this one. Thanks so much for taking on my request. From now on, you Survey Corps folks have my full support. Keep giving it your all out there. Ah, another star piece to sell. Woot woot. And... Do, 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 do. My brain was just like, which button do we press for diddly dees? And now we go to the main road. So you can be like, here is like one of the three that you want, my madman. My honey madman. All right, I have one comb bee for you. I just need to find it once more amongst the mess. Because I've caught a decent amount of comb bee. Is this the comb bee you need? Hopefully. I'll just have myself a little sample of its honey. That's exactly what honey should be. Tastes like a distilled drop of nutritious, foresty goodness. But I get the feeling it doesn't quite taste like honey from other areas. I'll make sure to memorize this flavor. Let's move on. Two more places to check. The next comb bee I'm after lives in Apom Hill. I don't think I've caught an Apom Hill one. So I'll have to go catch an Apom Hill one. My thought was something like Blinding Diamond and Sweet Pearl. Hmm. Yeah, Sweet Pearl seems, to, it seems like a, a decent name. Unbreakable Diamond and Sweet Pearl. They kind of clashed, so probably some other kind of diamond. Whirlpool can evolve. We can do it again. <laughs> Don't know why that, like, ungraying happens. Opacity mix-up. Let's see. Now he wants uh, an Apom Hill. At least he lets us know. Getting her. Da, 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 da. So, yeah. Next will probably... Da, da, da. All right. And uh, while I was also out there doing the things, I leveled up so we can go get another promotion from Silene. Get new item availability. Well, first we're going to sell our star bits, which I still can't believe that you can make star bits. Granted, it's a little... Wonky, because you have to get items from the distortion rifts, but hey, it's kind of neat. And I guess we can also try the Porygons, and because I have the dubious disc and the upgrade. Bah-bah. Star bitch, star bitch. Because I need to do it. 
I, my inventory is far too cluttered. Because I do believe that I did have a star bit in here. Like Purple Fire Kitty said. I'm very blind. Not sure what I was talk uh, talking about when I said star bit. Ah, maybe. Eh. Well, I had one, got one anyway, so retroactively true. Maybe the sunstone. Hmm. Trying to think. I guess, uh, hmm. Idea, maybe. Oh, wait. I don't want to sell those. I want to take them with me. Because I think I'm going to try and evolve some chops. Well, let's see. Pokédex. Activate. I want to see. What do I need to finish off Machoke? Because we finished off Machop. Yeah, Machoke, Machoke. Yeah, Machoke, Machoke. We need seven. So if we evolve a Machop into a Machoke... Well, that will give us another cot. Eh, it might seem better to just go and beat them up above the waterfall. I was talking about the yellow star bit uh, looking item. Um, I think it's a sticky barb. Ah. Ah, that makes sense. Alright, so go level up. Go beat up some chokes. Then we'll go and maybe beat up some octillaries. And, uh, also grab a combi from Apalm Hills while we're there. Let's see how much money do I have. I have a ton of money. Will this be your final upgrade, my dude? Jesus Christ. I honestly think that this goes on for eternity. You're just an item sink. What next? 30,000? No, 26. Honestly, not that bad. <laughs> I crave violence. Soon the violence will come. Hello, Silene. I defeated a beat up a lot of things and evolved some Pokemon, so now they exist. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Only three more to go till max level. With this, you have officially attained the rank of seventh star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Gigaton Balls? All Pokemon ro will obey me, and more money as well. And we can make Gigaton Balls. Continue to dedicate myself. But let's see, now I need to look up the thing because we need to find a specific quillfish-ish. Oh, no, we don't need to catch one. We just need to evolve it, which is weird, apparently, according to this guide. Alright, so we need to use Strong Style Bar Barrage 20 times with a Quillfish. Okay. <laughs> I'm dying at the name of that. Yeah, it makes sense. It's supposed to be like a, I guess, a better version of the uh, heavy and lead, well, lead balls. Heavy ball, lead balls. Well, let's see, since we can craft them. Yep, it is the next Gigaton Ball. I actually like its name. All right. So... First things first, I'm going to take out a quillfish because we're going to have to do a diddly dang lot with a quillfish. I think I have one quillfish. Alright, now we need to hunt down the bastard. Here, bastard, bastard. I should have one because I just came across it and was just like, I shall grab you because I might as well. Pokedex, ha ha! Oh yeah, and I also got a Vulpix. I forget if uh, that was on stream or not. 
going back and forth in these areas blend together. You go to an area, and then it's just like, suddenly, new Pokemon. Oh boy! Yep, Quillfish. And since... I guess for now, we will take out Infernape. Try and level up Lancelot, and have Quillfish annihilate a lot of things, I guess, while we go to catch and destroy some Machokes. And then we'll go to the Cobalt Coast, catch an Apalm Combi, catch an Apalm Combi, and diddly dee. <laughs> OMG, you're killing me. Bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean. Basically. All right, now we need to find one small. If I really wanted, I could also go to the... Bippity bop. I guess while we're on the way. Kill, I guess. Unless it runs away. Go first. You're like super... Yes, there we go. All right. So, bar barrage. We need to use this, apparently, a million times to properly evolve this thing. Specifically, the strong variant. So, thank you, Quillfish, for already being of that inclination. Okay, actually... I think I think it's a uh, da 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 because there is a way to kind of get up into that area a bit easier. Yeah, we'll just make our way. Nah, no power. Think, 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 think. Because there's like five billion things that I need to do, and I want to manage my time properly. Also, while I was looking for unknown in just a casual sense and looking for wisps, I also caught that Alpha Heracross. So that was fun. Oh, wait, no, this isn't. wouldn't lead to the proper place anyway. I think for the proper way, we need to be over here on the right side. In fact, I think it's near the cave opening, so I really should have just gone to the giant tree. Keep going, a fish of bass just triggered my Hamilton music theater kid mode. I don't know what that has to do with Hamilton, but I am happy that it brought out an, a hopefully positive feeling. Nah, yeah, never mind, we're going to go to the Grand Tree Arena, and then we'll just walk along. See if I can rediscover the way up properly. There is a certain way. Get out of here. I must ride over a bee. I know what Hamilton is. Uh, Hamilton is, if only through osmosis and everyone's just like, Hamilton, it exists. And it's just like, that's the, basically the extent of my knowledge. You cannot go any further. Oh, but I will. No matter what you think you can, game, I can get up here through this. I did once before. I can do it again. <laughs> I care not for your physics. All right. You, what do we need? Uh, annihilate you with a psychic type move. And then do another one and then catch another one of you. Okay. Prepare to die, muscle man. Destroy. I choose you to die. And funny enough, the other one that was just like, I see you, decided to run away. The ultimate coward. I would have been actually horrified if it stayed at that size that it bulked up to. So thank you for shrinking down. And now you die. 
All right. Ooh, and one other. Then that might mean that Machoke with two unreported data tasks. I could have sworn it said, and one other multiple times. So if we de -de -de, catch one and then just annihilate them with psychic moves over and over again. I want to die? I'll annihilate you with a psychic attack. I'll drill into your head with psychic scalpels. Who needs scalpels when you have scalpels? It's like the off-brand scalpel. Go, Lancelot. You karate chop with your elbows. It is the ultimate technique. Then there should be more over here that we can find and destroy. Either that or a giant blissy. It's one or the other in the Pokemon world. Muscle men, ready to die. There's the giant blissy. Yep. The Blissey. And a Chansey. Ah. I guess I can catch that Chansey. Why are they on a hillside? Is it a romantic outing? Husband and wife. There's the husband. God damn you. Catch them both! So they can be forever together. Forever. Get back here, coward! Be with your wife! Done you! Let's see. Ah, I got away. Oh, well, at least I got them a choke. Now I need to annihilate some. Maybe. Let's go back to the Pokedex. Mm -hmm. Which will be faster? Stun it using items. So I guess I can stun it. Wait. No, I got it already, but... Ah, eh, for fun, let's see what happens if I can stun it. Wake up! And now I think I need to annihilate you. Oh, there we go. Eh. Spoiled apricorns! At your face! <laughs> it looked like it was running away. Ah, uh, I thought that would be a surefire way. To smack it while it was charging up an attack. And why else were we here? Was it just for a choke? I think it was just for a choke. <laughs> He's helpless to your attacks. He's helpless. They all are. And do 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 do. I guess I'll quickly go and uh, I, I'm being targeted, am I? You shall die. We'll annihilate you just to make things easier. Go and see if we can run into any Cherum in the Diddly D Forest. See if we can find. How dare you survive? How dare you do that much damage? How much you have. How dare you destroy yourself and deny me a psychic type victory? You bitch! I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably try and take on this Blissey. First things first. Go get the nab nab berries. And hopefully the leaden ball will make it super easy. Get in the ball. Damn you. Alright. Then off to the hotwood forest we go. So we can try and find the abomination of uncatchableness, Cherim. Because I checked, there hasn't been an update for this game yet. So that implies that Cherim is still impossible to catch. Nearly impossible. Hello there. Eh, yeah, just a bloody combi. Hell yeah, maybe you can annihilate it. Wait, it's bug type, so. Ah, uh, stay too far from the battle. But at least I've seen it leap from a tree. I must. No, don't keep your guard up. I must use Bob Barrage five million times. Basically. Because if I read the guide correctly, to get this, this... To get it to evolve properly, we need to use that move 20 times, and it's a 15 power point move that uses two power points every single time we use it in strong style. 
So we're gonna be here a while, Billy. Gonna be here a while. Just look around at the various trees. Maybe see if we can find an Eevee or two, because I'm almost at uh, the amount of Eevees I require to get all the Eeveelutions. Just because, basically. You want to die? I can arrange that. You look at me. You try to run. You get barraged by bobs. Okay, so that's sweet. That's going to inspire art. Yay! Always nice to find inspiration. Yep, another thing wants to die. He wants to die. Seek out and destroy. Where's the one that wants to die? There's the one that wants to die! Annihilate. But it's always nice to come across inspiration. Especially when it's something like, Ooh, that's cool. I shall immediately go do things. Because that happens sometimes with me. In fact, I think that's why I did my first background in a million years. Because I just had an idea. It's just like, the idea shall be made. It's more adding fuel to the Daisy Chugger ship. That's a good inspiration. Never a nobler art cause. And whenever I come here, none of the trees shake. Horrific. Just as horrific as the assassination of the Psyduck. No, I don't want to run. I want to run into the danger. Look at it in the eyes and say die. Then I think we can't use strong style anymore. But now, we shall teleport over there, since there are no trees. Now we must find Eevee. The hardest thing is, there's so, like, Eevee can basically spawn anywhere in the Horseshoe Plains. And so you want to traverse it quite quickly to narrow things down. But Pokemon, especially Eevee, notice when you're riding Weird Deer the most. Okay, I thought that was a. I thought that Bidoof might have been an Eevee, and I got scared. But you need to be very careful. Look over the horizon and play America's favorite guessing game. Is that a Bidoof or an Eevee? It does not look like it today. I also sometimes think about elsewhere in the horseshoe plans. Noise. That uh, must have been the bit that made that noise. Because <laughs> it's just like, I heard a thing that was just like, that kind of sounded like a, a UI sound. But I can't be sure. Nope, no EV spawn today. Profound sadness. Then I guess we shall head back to base, turn in the things. We should be able to do the Machoke mission, which means ah, going to the coastland anyway. Because we need to go to the coastland to also turn in and be like, hey, guy, I filled out the Machoke page, so you can now have these big muscly Pokemon do your work for you. And he'll be so happy. I shall return to the village. Then we'll go to the coast. Use the barrage a bunch more times. Because I think we didn't even use... We can't even use it ten. We probably used it like seven times. How horrifying. Off to the coast lens. Well, I guess we could also there. But we, we can turn in a thing over here. Turn in the thing, beat up a bunch of Pokemon with the barrage. 
And then I don't think there's much else that we can do. Not yet. Like, unless I want to just, like, see if I can farm... Uh, get back here. Get back here. Well, I'll have to attack your neighbor now. Run in fear of the mighty quillfish, but on land! Oh, it's gonna run away. How dare they put the most easily accessible Pokemon that are most likely to run away. But that's why you hit them while they're retreating. There's no you in for Pokemon. There's no you in for Pokemon. War crimes don't exist in the Pokemon world. I can only assume. <laughs> Which does bring up the idea. In a po Pokemon world, where obviously Pokemon will be used as weapons, because, of course, the only question that remains is, well, what would the, like, restrictions be? You can't run away, Starly. Wow, ah, war crimes are here for you. I didn't get a stun though. And now it's gonna run away. Ah! I had to scare it away properly. And now it's bigger cousin shall die. Little Lou ran away, so Big Bob could die. Some say Big Bob sacrificed himself for Little Lou. That is a bold-faced lie by the Little Lou propaganda machine. I think I completed it, hopefully to your liking, my dude. Did you complete Machoke's Pokedex entry? Please show me. So it likes grain, huh? And it certainly has a sturdy, powerful body. It would be perfect addition to the construction core. <laughs> but you're gonna get bodied, my dude. Oh no, he just went and caught one, I guess. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Thanks to you, I was able to catch him a choke. I guess I owe the Survey Corps one. It really seemed to enjoy the grain cake I threw at it. I promised we'd feed it lots of grain dishes, and that seems to be enough for it to help us. You know, the rec recent exploits of the Survey Corps are what inspired me to get help from Pokemon in the first place. Keep up the good work, you hear? And I got more grit gravel. More gravel. The child must die. It's on the beach at night. That is illegal. So now it must be barraged. How dare you punch my fish! Oh, you're gonna die to the poison. The greatest of hilarity. I thought I was gonna get two hits in. The answer was, <laughs> no! I don't get to get two hits in. Die. Next on the list of death. Oblivion. Ah, you didn't get poisoned. So you get to survive today. Goodbye, small child. I still want to know where Giratina is in all these legends. It's like, ah. The Time Lord Sinnoh. Ah, the Space Lord Sinnoh. And where's Reverse World Sinnoh? Maybe they just don't know about the Reverse World. Like the humans they are. Just a little while. See if that will increase the power points to Quillfish. 
Twelve fish. Check summary. Yep, it increases in deadly. And I think if I saw it correctly, there is a penalty to swapping in moves in the field. If you try to swap a move in while in the field, it seems to have only half of the power points it would normally have. Probably to uh, try and cut down on people running into combat with like, ah, I'll swap this in. Wahaha. <laughs> so if you want super duper good, you need to actually think of it ahead of time. Oh yeah, we also need to go to Combi. Grab a Combi. Wow, trying to run away is not your forte, my dude. Kill. I don't think this helps much because I think I have completed the Glamiao thing anyway. Don't want to fight the drift balloons. They're monsters, unlike the monsters of any kind. How many I have? There's probably some on my on my back. I can't just stop. Hello, a palm. Ah, you're already maxed out. We need to find comb bees on a palm hill. Why you would want to find the bees of Apalm Hill when this is obviously Monkey Hill? And are willing to throw down Ambi Palm. Ah, comb bees! Precisely what I require to catch. Now just turn around. Nah, that works. Not sure if it didn't see me or just didn't care. Alright, that one is caught. So that mission is next in line. You cannot escape me! Only I escape me! Kill with barbs! I just figured I'd try. Kill! the perpetual grin of a monster. Kale! Poison the nasty blocking monkey man. And it was poisoned, so it'll probably die to the poison when it does the double. How dare you. Amusing. But now we shall head to the base, heal up, which will also give the power points back, and we continue our grinding for the dude. Or if I actually want, I could head to town, turn in the home bee, but it doesn't really matter because then we'd have to go. We don't get a reward. We'll just have to go and to a new place and be like, "Hey, go to the snowlands and give me a a snowy comb bee so I can taste its honey." As the ravenous Pokemon eater I am. I think I know why there's no slowpokes in this game. Because the, they didn't want to cover the slowpoke tail kerfuffle. Even though I'm fairly certain. That them eating slowpoke tail is still canon. In various ways. Run away all you want. 
I'll smack you in the head with the Pokeball that contains your Executioner. Just imagine if somebody just threw the bed of the Executioner with the Executioner in the bed at you while you tried to run away. Horrifying. Truly and totally. I wonder if there's an easier way to level up. Or, not level up, but like, evolve Quilted. It's what the guide said. Maybe a water stone could work. I don't know why you're using Roost when you haven't taken any damage. Be gone, stupid Murkrow. You will die for the sins of dumb. How dare you survive. Oh, great. Now you're going to die to the poison. Hilarious. Ah, Quillfish can evolve! Hopefully it is correct. And it doesn't evolve into the wrong thing, or else we'll have to... That would be kind of mean. If there's, like, two different kinds of Quillfish, and if you evolve it to a certain point... Or no, if you level it up to a certain point, it'll work. But I think this is it. Yep, over Quill! Alrighty then! Now we shall head, grab him, because we can actually number evolve. Egg, 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 Egg. Why? Why was there an egg icon and it said number evolved one? Was that a glitch? That might have been a glitch and the egg icon is a placeholder for like a normal... Like, hey, if we can't find a specific image, use egg. So yeah, egg, 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 egg. All right, now we need a Beusel. Too bad Jet is a Floatzel and therefore super high level and cannot be used. And since we're gonna, since it's obviously a legendary Pokemon of the water, we will. Actually, I just realized I threw my boy. Where'd my boy go? My my Lancelot. I need to put him in a, in a safe haven. Here you go, Lancelot, you can be there. And Rhyperior can be in the box next door. As we go to find a Mantike that we can put into our team to gather the team necessary to summon whatever Pokemon Sea of the Legend is, BRB. See you whenever later, Purple Fire Kitty. Which is probably a terrible timing because I'm going to go and see what the Legend of the Sea is. Barring the world lying to me. Because if the little guide that I tried to avoid as much spoilers beyond just how do I access content, then we just go to the two horns with a team of Buzel, Overquill, and Mantike, based upon a story that only exists within the pages of a legend from the Sinnoh remakes. And it said it was a story of a Buzel, Overquill, and Mantike on a journey. Then once we get there, the wonders will commence. Because I don't think there's anything else to do here. So, it'll be interesting to see. What legendary Pokemon will it be? I doubt it would be Lugia. Lugia is too Johto. But I don't know what a Sinnoh-adjacent Pokemon legendary would be when it comes to... Because let's see, what is it called again? What is this one called again? 
the sea's legend. Solve the mystery of the sea's legend and catch the Pokemon that Professor Laventon saw. It will be very interesting. Don't think I have much reason to rest. This ain't Minecraft. So, let's see if I did everything correctly and approach it on foot. Just for, I don't know, dramatics. Oh, fuck off, Rimmer 8. You're ruining drama! Kill the Rimmer 8 for interrupting the wonders of life. Kill. Shows me to go and try walking, getting pop pods on the coast while I walk towards the drama. Because I wonder what it could be. I have no idea what, like, these twin things are. It's been a million years since I played Platinum. So I don't know what to expect. I'm trying to think. Cresselia is related to the moon, and it's not you. Like, uh, let me quickly look at it. Before we... Let's just uh, be a bit of a tease here. Because I still have that picture. At least I should. Of the diddly d uh, sketching in the tunnel. The etchings in the tunnel that had legendary Pokemon and such. Let's see if I can quickly find it and scrutinize it. Ever so slightly. Alright. Cresselia, Manaphy, Cleaver, I assume. Something, something. Basquelegian Electrode. The same second something next to Cleaver. From the looks of it, Palkia. Something. Jirachi? Oh no, that's Azelf or Muself, one of the Lake Trio. That's what you are. Me dumb. The other. There's other li little Pokemon that are like Jirachi. I just realized, uh, if it's going to be here, then uh, Regigigas, Weirdeer, and then Basculegion again for some reason. Hmm. So yeah, the etchings are weird. Maybe they're part of a, maybe they're part of a quest. Find the etchings and make the true etching. Because I know there's also a ruin in the Mire Myers that has etchings. But let's see. Will you activate? Did I do something wrong? That's just a Gyarados. Mwah. Alright, back into the guide! Back into the guide. Alright. You need to pass through a certain gate. Head to the Cobalt Coastline, sail through the between the ones of the evening. Evening time! Alright. Me super dumb. Well, luckily, they were nice and put a camp here. So we're gonna make it evening and then pass right through the gate. Wrong thing. Well, I guess we can put things away, make some extra balls. Able to jibbly. I keep putting away my stealth bombs. Now there's such things. Alright. Then we'll craft some more items. Some Ultra Balls. Not that many Ultra Balls. Like, uh, 35. Make a decent po amount of normal potions. No amount of revives. Wait until evening! And then we'll do it. This is what happens when I don't have it right next to me. And I don't want to look it up. 
<laughs> like directly because far too many things are like how to find and I just like immediately nope just give me the legends none of them give you the legend all right it's like the world knows water wind legend legendary Pokemon of the gate come on to me Theo Guess that etching is right, man. Manaphy? You heard something that sounded like a cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. And a boulder shifting in the distance. Maybe that cave. You know, that cave that I kept talking about? That I thought was, like, for sure had to have that Pokemon. I can only assume. More than likely, I could probably put away my Pokemon here. Well, I have to have Sneasel for false swipe. Alright. Boulder shifting in the distance. I can only think it's that cave, because that cave has to be something. It's a cave! You don't have unimportant caves! That's not the right one. That's just the tunnel of the etchings. Alpha Finion is back. Or Luminion, whatever it is. Maybe. Perhaps. It has to be important. It's important! I knew it! It's Manaphy! The darling boy! Ooh, and some... I, I forget what those ones are called. Do I have to battle you? Well, they want to fight! Maybe. Don't you want food? I tried to throw a Pokeball, but it didn't want to fight. Okay. Jesus! Okay. My first legitimate death. And it took away some of my grit gravel. Okay, note to self. Put away everything except Pokeballs and potions. And revives. And the Pokeballs that we don't need. Because from the looks of this, it's going to be a bit difficult. Because I tried, because I tried, I tried to throw, to distract. I tried to throw my Pokeball, so maybe I just didn't throw my Pokeball correctly to actually, like, initiate combat. Maybe once again it's more Legend of the Sea things that I don't have access to. Because I do not own the game, baby. I don't own it, baby Nintendo. The answer to this one commission is in this game. I don't have that game. Well, you're tough. Well, let's try again. I put away all the things that matter to me. Unless it was a one and done, which I'll be very sad. Maybe I need... I can't. Oh, maybe now I can attack you? No, not that. This! Alright. False swipe the Fion. Oh. Well, that's mean. Now all the rest of them are going to get their turn, too. Alright, a lot, at least it's a lot of looking around. Come on, let me have my turn! 
Oh, I forgot. You have a lot of kill move. Try blasting with Manaphy. Please don't kill. And it's gonna use Strong Style. Really wish I could actually come in and try. And this is Grass and Fighting, so hopefully they can't do much. But I don't want to kill! I want to catch! I don't have False Swipe on you. I want to catch one, uh, Fion. Alright. Find damage. This Fion with an Air Slash. I go for, I, I, I underestimate these Fions. And do one more. And we should be able to catch this Fion. I should have brought some Hyper Potions. Okay. Ultra Ball, please come to me, Fion. If I can catch all of them, that'll be amazing. Okay, that's one! Agile style, so it's gonna get multiple turns out of this. And it's gonna use another Zen Headbutt, isn't it? That's a mean game. That's just mean game. Why do they have such coverage? Well, at least you survive. We shall bring Robin back. Sir Robin, my Robin. And we'll have to throw the Buzel out. Well, the Mantike, he can probably take more damage. Can I have my turn? Come on! Let me have a turn! I don't get an extra turn when I knock out one of you bastards. Let me have a turn to heal my man. It's extra mean that they're just like, actually, I get to just go as many times as I want. That's stupid. Give me a turn! I didn't even get a turn! That's fucking stupid! Hey, stupid! Let me have a turn in battle! At least it didn't make me black out, but dear god, let me have a turn! <laughs> Gonna save that for the battle, if we can. But yeah, that is extra stupid. That if they knock out your Pokemon, they can just keep going! They don't have to actually have a turn! At least I can kind of cheese it. But it does look like, uh, for some reason I'm only fighting this one now. Out of the blue. I hope that means Manaphy didn't go away, but at least, hey, I got- had, I have one- one coming up on two Fions. So maybe I can evolve one. 
But Jesus! I don't know why I only got like one last time or one this time. And a million last time. Hopefully I can catch the others. So yeah, losing all your Pokemon in this game is the vastly preferable outcome. Alright. Of course you'd go first. And now at least this means I can send out my boy, Robin. You have... Zen headbutt, because you're mean. Alright. Normal air slash, don't you dare frickin' crit. And I'm gonna try an Ultra Ball. Nope. Didn't like it. Why do you get two turns in a row? Once again, game! Let me have a turn! That's all I want. Game, give me a turn. Because if Sneasel can go first, maybe I can get a false swipe off and have to worry about it dying. Alright. Super heal Sneasel. You'll die. We'll send out Sneasel. Hopefully get a false swipe off. But at least legendary encounters in this game are seemingly kind. Even if you kill in one hit, you bastard. Go Ultra Ball! Please, come to me, Manaphy! I have two of your Fions! Damn you! Wah, you're enraged. You're not the one that has to suffer. The AI just cheating the diddly D. Oh, I'm going to go as many times as I like, please. And that's when it. Not to mention, I'd just like it if the diddly D would actually show how many moves these guys can do. Like, if it's going to use an agile move, I would like it if the game would actually show it using that agile move. And huzzah! Manaphy has been caught! How oh, for the other Fion? No! Well, at least I got two Fionts. There's the other Fion. Alright. Gonna revive everyone again. I don't think I will need to go the full way again, because this is just you, but at the same time, you have the same moves as your, your master. All of you. Come along. Come, 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 come along now. Away from the humdrum. I'll use a Shadow Claw to knock you down a bit more. That definitely worked. And now, False Swipe. I was deeply scared that that Shadow Claw was going to annihilate you. Thank you for not being annihilated. And please come along. But hey, first legendary of the game! That's extra cool. Well, I guess technically two legend. You bastard. Get in the ball. Acid armor doesn't help you break out of the ball. Get in the ball! But yeah, technically the the two the first uh first and second legendary encounter of the game unless you count the opening you bastard you are at the lowest of your diddly d fine i will do another false swipe 
Come on! Okay, you're at one health. Get in the ball! You are an angry Theon! Was this a part of the legend as well? And then the trainer came in and tried to capture Manaphy and all the Fion, but one Fion refused. Okay, finally. Yay! Woot woot! All are caught! All Fion and Manaphy. Once again, the first legendary encounter of the game! Definitely hurt the soul a little bit when I walked in, got annihilated, because I didn't know the mechanics, and they ambushed me to the 50th degree. Fear. Fear. I'm going to take all my stuff back. At least most of my stuff. I guess I'll take my stealth sprays. And I think that'll be it. My dude, I got legendary Pokemon. I see you've caught our mysterious swimmer. So it was Manaphy all along. It seems Manaphy here is a migratory Pokemon, drifting to and fro across the seas since long ago. At least that's what it says in the sea's legend. How did you find it? I didn't even find it. It doesn't exist anymore. I had a jolly hard time getting a hold of this tome, but it seems it was worth it in the end. You didn't even give me the tome. I could have used that tome. You jerk. Let me play your copy of... Of, of Remake Pearl, Laventon. Let me play the game! I had a jolly hard time, but it seems it was worth it in the end. And Comet Shards that I can probably sell. I don't think there's anything else to do there. Tech Octillery, I forgot the Octillery, so we can... Catch a Legendary Pokemon. Catch four legendary Pokemon. Worth 2,000 Pokebucks. And let's see. Now we just have to... See it, uh... See these, uh, use moves and they'll max out. Woot woot. They're legendary Pokemon. I'll continue my excursion. I will quickly get my Pokemon back to the way it should be. Sorry, Buzel. You're back in the box. All right. You'll have an honorary place in my box since you helped attain things. Attain things. Gorgon. And I guess Rhyperior can come along too. Thank God I didn't take Rhyperior. He would have been annihilated. Alright, now we're going to go look for some Octillaries. In fact, what do we need to do for Octillery? Uh, oh yeah, we saw an Empoleon in there. I need to, I need to level up a bunch of Pokemon. Alright, Octillery, what do we need to do? The feet with electric moves. Well, Lopani is going to be used, and mostly see it mo use moves. Uh, catch one more, and then just beat the hell out of it. Got it. I think there is a reoccurring artillery on the rocks. I know where a few are. Like, there's the one that's over there with the alpha Pokemon. If I want to deal with that shenanigans. Like, over on these rocks might be Octillery. I probably should have rested. Do you want me to kill you? Bastard Remoraids. Remoraids just don't know how to frickin' chill. I 
I want to catch Pokemon, but I can't sneak up, especially on an alpha, when these bastards are like, Nah, you're trying to swim past us. You're gonna swim past without saying howdy. And since this is a respawning alpha... Oh, fuck off. Why'd you turn around? You didn't need to turn around. That's one thing I hate. It was just like, I can't really sneak up on the bastard. I'm swimming. I can't sneak up on him. If I try to do it from land... Fuck off, Remoraid. You're the worst thing in the world. Why are there so many hostile Pokemon in this area? Fuck it off. I just want to try and get that Octillery. Why does he get to go first? I'm the one with a mission here. I have to annihilate all wild Pokemon within a five freaking mile radius. When there's just random aggressive Pokemon just in the way of my fucking mission. Oh, fuck off, game. I hate random little fuck off bastards getting in the way of my catching Pokemon. Where? I'm in your way, and I'm gonna be very far away. Where? Stupid little bastard. Die a million times. Die a million deaths. I'm gonna name you Akuma now. Just to, uh, just to uh, damn my enemies to hell. You are Akuma now. You are now Akuma. Annihilator of my enemies. Forcing them to die a million deaths. All right. Now that we don't have to deal with food hog bastard man. Ah, it's too far away. Probably not gonna work. Didn't get a back strike. Nope. To combat we go. Unless it wants to. That I hate when the I can't get close to these enemies. Go out, fight, game, please. is everything. I have answers to everything. Just to be on the safe side. Damn it! Why do I get critical hits when I don't want them? I always get critical hits when I don't freaking want them. Why? A shard that fell to the ground when a comet passed nearby can be sold at a high price to the general store. Yeah, well, you said the same thing about Stardust, and that can also be used to make even better things to sell to the, to, to the, to the general store. So why should I believe you? Game could be lying to me again. But at least I used a proper move. But yeah, bloody hell, just let me sneak up on my enemies. Bastard game. And then there should be another artillery through here. So if this sketching is to be taken at face value, 
with Manaphy appearing. This means that Cresselia, Regigigas, Palkia, and by association, Dialga will also appear. And one of the river, uh, lake trio. They may not be all catchable because the, like, the lords can't all be caught. Like, Lord Electrode and Cleaver and the like can't be caught. Oh, back off. Back off, Ocean. I'm looking for artilleries. I guess there are only artillery here during the day or some shit. I have no patience for the game being like wah, 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 wah. game. Will you go away? I want the fast travel. Because I don't think. Well, I guess we can try rest, see if they respawn. Because I think artillery might be decent at showing up, unlike Eevee. But you can never know. Well, let's, before we go wandering off into hell. Nope, yep, we need to really diddly dee. I think that said it, we only had three things and only one data point unchecked. And it's just like, yeah. There are far too many aggressive Pokemon getting in the way of my science. The only other answer is to suffer doing science with them around, and I will not abide that. I doubt that the Alpha will reappear that quickly. I hate Remoraid. Fuck off. He's gonna be up there. Well, looks like we're gonna have to leave and come back. Let's try that rock again. See if the morning Remoraid has... Or not Remoraid. The morning artillery has come out. If water stones were easier to get, I might, like, force evolve a bunch of Remoraids into Octillaries, because I think that's their evolution path, as weird as it is. But no. I just want to find some Octillaries. Please have the artillery on the rock that just showed me the magical might of... What is it? Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump is very scary in this game. Yay. Once again, check. We want to... Oh, defeat with electric types. I completely forgot. Me super dumb. So yeah, defeat with electric types. Fight it. Fight. Kill. Normal charge beam, see if it lives. Oh, I could avoid the attack too. That's not the move you want to see you use. Why are you get critical hits? Utterly annoying. Why don't I get critical hits when they would be helpful? Why does a water type know an electric move? Well, here's my electric move. Kamehameha. Ah, you lived. Good job. Kind of wish I could check the Pokedex in battle. You know, like the anime, but oh well. And just one other. Don you. Fireman. But we're at, le at least we're up to six now. But it doesn't mean that we have to leave the area and come back, which is annoying. And they seem to be a partially rare species. Because I didn't see any appear there. Yeah, 
Hibbity hibbity yes. I'll return to the village and then immediately come back. Because I did we oh we guess while we're here we could be like hey dude you're your bee which bit here all right taste of honey and then we'll finish that off and then it's just uh then I guess we could go look for turtwig because I kind of remember where we found a turtwig last time even if it does suffer from the same thing of, ah, run, 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 and then you scare away the thing you're trying to not scare away, and then life hates you. For 15,000. Jesus Christ, yes. Thank you. Thank you a lot of money. Now I just need to... Re Hopefully it'll highlight the proper... comb bee that he wants. Because I don't know where it is in my mess of nightmares. Alright, let's see, let's see. Yay, from the looks of it, it does highlight the proper combi. I'll just have a little sample of its honey. We don't get to see it. Too lewd. Not too heavy on the sweetness, just honey plain and simple, and good enough to serve as a special treat on its own. This one definitely tasted different from the Grueling Grove honey. I'll make sure to memorize this flavor. Alright, here's the last one from the Ramanas Island. From Ramanas Island. Okay, let's take a look. Ramanas Island is... No... Ramanas Island does not appear to exist in this area. There's Lurker's Lair, Seagrass Haven. Fire Spit Island, but not Ramanas. Maybe a Ramanas Island. Lake Valor. Maybe a Ramanas Island? Yeah, Ramanas Island. The place that I... Why could you just send me there, like... I kind of wish it'd be like, hey, bring me these three, and then bring me a thing to me in any order. That would be nice. But, uh, as well as while we're here, let me quickly check. Any new? No new missions. I'm gonna quickly evolve my Porygon. So that we can add the Porygon line to the list. Alright. Why did I not get rid of Overquill? Get out of here, Overquill. Who am I missing from my main team? Who am I missing from my main team? Speaking of that, well, let's see. What level... Level 21. Well, while we're here, this makes easy room for you. We'll go to the box, get out the two... items that will upgrade you kind of funny that it's like in the distant past they had to be like hmm how do we you know I just realized something they bring over freaking Porygon they could bring over so many Pokemon from the modern age all right Porygon evolve hilarious that Porygon began as a joke Whereas, like, oh, you make this game for the Game Boy, you should make it for uh, the polygonal system. Porygon 2. It has more Pori. <laughs> Porygon 2. Porygon harder. And then. Evolve you again. For Pokedex reasons. And then I have another. Oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to get another opportunity at Porygon. Well, actually. Idea, maybe. At Porygon Z. Let's see, Porygon, Porygon. Did I run into Porygon before Magikarp? Maybe. Here, Porygon. I think we're going too far back. 
Yep, too far back. I want to find Porygon. Ah, uh, there's Porygon. Yeah, we just need to see it use Try Attack a few times and see it use Tackle. And since I still have a Porygon, I can get that out of the way. And then I can evolve it into the second iteration, Porygon. Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to swap out for another Pokemon. What, what Pokemon should I swap it out for? Hibbledy jibbledy. Which Pokemon should come with me? Alright, we have Grass Fighting, Normal Type, which is an all-rounder. Dark and Ice. Psychic Fighting. I guess we could... I want to level up Lancelot, though. And, of course, my obligatory diddly -dee. I guess we'll bring Gyarados along for the ride. Which can also work as Partial Dragon, because it does have dragon moves. But, yeah, we're gonna go back and beat up more... Octillaries. Because they dare to avoid us. I'll quickly check my Pokedex again. We'll have to find the page proper. Here, Octillery. Here, Octillery. Yeah, Cobalt Coastland. Octillery. Octillery. So, yeah, just if we see it use moves. Uh, defeat with electric type. So yeah, just catch if maybe... We'll try our hand at catching the... Alpha again. Once again, probably annihilating all the annoying small Pokemon around me. It's like, well, I am a tiny Pokemon, but I think that I can kill you. So I shall get in your way and annoy you immensely. It wouldn't be that bad if it just, like, didn't happen so bloody often. Especially when it's, like, over there by the one batch, patch of grass. Alright, I can ignore you. Or can I not? Nope, you want to fight. Because you're an asshole. Why do you want to die so bad, you annoying little shit? Try again. Once again, didn't get a backstrike because it's such an annoying area. But I got it anyway. Huzzah. Once more. No diddly doos abound. So, 7 8. So, if we just. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me check. If I beat up another one with an electric move and it does enough. Like, if it does a Hydro Pump and I hit it, kill it with an electric move, we should be fine and dandy. 
But knowing me, they they won't use an electric move because the or they won't use Hydra Pump or one of the other moves because artillery just won't see me suffer, and I'm gonna have to reset the area again. But at least the it was nice. At least, at the very least, the Alpha Auxiliary was feeling rather nice today. Funnily enough, we won't want to have it. Yeah, there's so many angry Pokemon around the Pokemon that I just... Ah, there we go. Fight upon the rock at midnight. Double edge, I guess. Use Hydro Pump. That's not Hydro Pump. It will kill you if it charge me. Oh, and one other. Let's see. One button. Octillery three. And it said one other, but I don't see one other. So, yep, we're going to have to reset the area and come back and beat up another one. I think. We'll check and see what's the most easiest. All right. The most easiest will be to... I guess catch the next alpha again. That actually will probably be the easiest. Oh, we we did. Okay. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yet it's complete ten. Oh, uh, okay. A uh, number of different forms. So we have ah oh, one extra form. We've used seen it use hydro pump once. So that's two. Four points uh, if we include the of electric type. One, two, six. I don't get you, but I it's complete, so I that works for me. Right, okay. So long as I don't have to come back here again for this, I'll, I'll take it as a good yes. I won't knock it. But okie dokie, I completed it. Here's your mission. Here's the information I've learned. Oh my, so that's how it is. Wait, hold on. Are you quite sure? Goodness, to think that Remoraid evolves into Octillery, despite them looking nothing alike. But more importantly, it seems Octillery isn't poisonous, so its ink must be safe to eat after all. Ooh, I can't wait to gather up some ink and try creating lots of innovative new recipes. Once my new pickles are well and truly perfected, pop right by for a taste, won't you, dear? Alright. Side quests are almost complete. Okay, it's just the impossible that's not going to happen. In fact, I think most of the places where you have a likely chance to catch a Cherim doing a thing and its unevolved form doing a thing are in the next place we're going to. We still can't do that one entirely because we need to catch a bunch of, of the Wisps and we need to go do to the Romulus Island. Miss Devious will be in the next area. This will be in the next area. And then that. Alright, so... I guess I'll hold off on the Tor Twig and do that in my own time, and then we'll just finish the mission. But since this is super easy, we'll just go... Here, I guess. Grab the final combi. Bring it in for the mission man. Jesus Christ, that's a big... It's a big boy. An Alpha Bidoof. Will wonders never see.
That was like a, a three inch fall. How to take damage, weird deer. You're weak, weird deer. You're weak. So weak. So weak. I need to watch more Uncle Roger. His videos are funny. Him just mocking people for not being able to make fried rice properly. I'm gonna annihilate your family. Now oh, that's a chimchar. Dolly. That's the Infernape of Doom. Actually, an eight palm. Well, the bastard said that there was going to be combies on Diddly Doo Island. We're on Diddly Doo Island. Where's the honeybees, bastard man? Where's the honeybees? Where's the honeybees? Probably in the trees. Open sesame. I found the bastard. Kill the bastard by not killing. Smack to the face. Leave the weasel alone. You do not know what it means to have a soul. Let me show you by injecting the soul into you. Bastard. Alright, we'll return to camp. And head back home. I caught one Pokemon, because that was all that was requested of me. And I basically want to get all this done as fast as possible so that I can go to the new area. We have been going for almost two hours, purely trying to do these missions, granted. One of them was really, really important because it had to do with legendaries. And I had to <laughs> really work for it because the game is kind of mean. <laughs> it's still a cool idea that, the personally, if I had the power to just be like, okay, how do we do this mission for the legendary Manaphy and Fion? I would have personally had it be done where the easiest way would be to find the Legend of the Sea in Pokemon Blinding Diamond and Shining Pearl. And then there would be a harder way to get it in this game to find the answer. But the answer should... I would be cruel. I would have a random NPC tell the story and it wouldn't be noted down at all. You'd have to talk to a random diamond person who's like out in a cave somewhere and they'll just offhandedly mention the story a bit. Or maybe spl split up the story amongst multiple NPCs. This type of honey just begs to be stirred into a cup of tea. Must have been something different about the flowers. So Combi in different areas make differently flavored honey. What a delightfully mysterious bunch they are. Even though you explicitly note how honey works, so it shouldn't be that surprising to you. Just think of how many different clusters of Combi there are in the obsidian field that's alone. I'm getting the urge to go collect more honey. Thanks for helping me confirm my suspicions. Have some of my hand-selected dazzling honey. All right, mission done. I'll quickly excavate my inventory and we'll head to the new area. Woohoo! Woohoo! New area! Woohoo! Wahoo! The new area of wonder shall be succeeded and I'm running into a wall. I'm doing things on my monitor. Ah, the secret revealed. I am not a person. I'm an imperfect robot. So many bloody items. And what about my team? Is my team good? I'd say my team is good. Maybe bring in a uh, fern ape. Since we're... Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Baldi-Doo! 
Let's go to the new area. To the new area we go. Coronet Highlands. Wow, we're just right here. That seems like super close. There you are, my girl. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokemon wandering about these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. All right. Uh, NPC man, you have a mission for me, maybe? Ursaluna's a real champ when it comes to digging up treasure. He finds all sorts of nifty stuff. You're driving him digging lots of different places to see what treasures you can find. I'll definitely have to do that for the poems, because I just randomly found this poem out of nowhere. Old verse 9. Alright, so more Luxio and... Co. Well, this is a nose pass. It's a statue of a Pokemon, but who could have made it and how long ago? And then a Clefairy. Or Clefable. It's a statue of Pokemon, but how long ago? Very interesting. And since we've, uh, we can go basically everywhere. Ooh, a bridge! Super cool looking bridge. Apparently it wants me to go that way. Well, let's see. There is, well, I guess the crossing of the bridge is exactly where it wants me to go. Bunch of zoo bats. I'll have to evolve a crowbat into a, well... A gold bat into a crow bat. Well, I guess I can't really uh, sequence break any of this because we have to go through that cave to get anywhere near the highlands. But we can go up that little over there. Lots of gull bats, and they're so freaking big. Nineteen wisps in this area. I wonder if I'll be able to go up waterfalls at all throughout this game. And I hate that sometimes. <laughs> the rideable Pokemon are like, Okay, camera, look that way. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I love that system, though. The way that it just dynamically shifts is a really good system. And... Spirit... for me. I dive in. I dive out. And there's, dear God, so many gold bats. I was so far away. Why do you want to fight me? Go away. Alright. And, uh... Who are... Ah, yes! The other dude. The last warden. Looks like we're gonna have to go through a cavern to get up. The Electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the Electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it can put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokémon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokémon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. 
then becoming frenzied to boot. So true, it's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Oh, this bastard. Well, well, Warden in go of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Absolutely not. Well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of the Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. All of the other ones were literally attacking people because they were frenzied. Which would be like the opposite, my dude. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that? why that's a good thing? I honestly think that... You're the weirdest one out of the lot. The other ones are like... There was the Pearl Clan guy that was just like, but if they make him stronger and more mighty, isn't that a good thing? But he was a kid. So either you're a dumbass, or you're actively hoping that the frenzy is taking hold for some reason. Dumbass would say, oh, strong, yes, better. But he could be more malicious and actively want them to become frenzied for a reason beyond ooh stronger. Conspiracy theory time. If my random brain pulses are correct, this guy could very well be a part of modern Team Galactic. And modern Team Galactic want these powerful Pokemon to become frenzied for some reason. We don't know. Well, let's wait and see. We must let, we must let my lord frenzy as it may, to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as, it, as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. The very reason he is here on this earth is to allow the lords to frenzy. Could very well be a part of a certain person's plan. I don't know who that is. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway if Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage! What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do? Press on. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, Neon, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. He is from uh, the same, well, another world as well, because he knows what driving is. Here you'll find Pokemon like Goldbat and Ariok, which are quite at home navigating the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Can't wait to meet Sneasler. I like Sneasel. I like Weavile. Can't wait to meet a noble. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll! Take care not to become uncoupled with me. I recall faintly that I had a partner once. A precious one. It name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Hope it's not a Shandular. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an Alpha Crobat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care not to become uncoupled from me. 
I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We'd battle and discuss Pokemon, I think. Your twin? The words I like winning more than anything else flashed through my mind just now. I, I wonder who that could be referencing. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be... Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure! If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. And now I can wander about as much as I like. But I wonder if that is referencing anything. <gasps> Get out of here, Golbat. Ugly bastard. Gibble! 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 Gibble, my dear boy. Gibble, my dear boy. Eat the food. He's good for you. Gibble! Ah, that's a glitch. Oh, well. I thought it was an item. It was just a glitch. Kind of adds to the unnervingness. If you're in a cave and then suddenly there's just a blinding light, but yeah. What is Melly's deal? That is my question. What is Melly's deal? Oh, hey. Rhyperior, break the way away. Personally, I think that Melly is actually a threat to some degree. Like that he actually is a part of whatever the Time Rift's deal is. Because the Time Rift has to have a deal. We might be connected to that deal. Arceus is connected as well. So it's just like, what is the actual deal? What is the true? It would just be very interesting to get answers eventually. Ah, sleeping. Let's see. Caught, uh, defeated, seen, mo seen moves. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get you. And just sleep him. Woof, woof. So it'd just be very interesting to finally get the answers, because, again, the only one that's like, maybe the Lord should frenzy was, what's his name, Linnael? The pr little prospector boy? But, yeah, he, that's just it. He's a little prospector boy. What is his deal? My bad. I thought you were an item. Either way. Shadow Claw. Annihilate. Ooh, a soul. Hopefully it's eternally night here. What are you, Wish Cash? Angry Wish Cash and the Golbat. I'll try and catch this Wish Cash. I will add you to my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan club, whether you like it or not. Very rude of you to do more damage. Shadow Claw. 
That's extra room. Super extra rude, my dude. Agile. And then normal. I shall use an Ultra Ball. It should be good enough for you now. Huzzah! Wish Catch has been added. We need to be careful. Because that Crobat is here. Dang it. I probably should have used a aerial ball. The air ball, I think, is called. Wing ball. If he turns around again, I'll throw a wing ball right at his back. Go! Why did that not work? Sometimes the wing balls... Oh, maybe it could be that he is uncatchable right now, because some of them are. I can't go back in the water, because Wishcash is angry. Hmm. Let's see. Go, Akuma! Alright. Oh crap, it's... Normal rock slide. It'll probably survive. Agile rock slide. That works. Uh, what? You didn't even use an agile move before that. So why are you going to go two times? Okay, this is just cheating. You cheating monster of a monster monster. They really need to update the turn order. To actually say, hey, this is what's likely to happen. Because that's just very mean that it got to go three times in a row, despite it saying it was only going to go once and the first turn didn't even do. Why? 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 I just want to catch this bastard, but he's going first each bloody time. There we go. I throw a ball. Should do. Because he's a jerk. Get in the ball, Gohan. Yay. It's like he survived just long enough to be like, no, I shall spite as many Pokemon as possible. But hey, I got a Crobat now and I don't have to evolve it. I'm probably going like way off the path I'm supposed to. Or maybe I went the path I'm supposed to. Oh no, this will probably just get a lead out here. Woot woot. That works for me. Oh, bugger off. I still want to know what Melly's deal is. 
Either he's really, really dumb. Let's see. Level up my Sneasel boy. I guess leveling up attack would help for False Swipe, definitely. And increase your speed as well. And probably Rhyperior as well. Increase your special defense. Oh, I have more. And raise your normal defense, too. Evermore, increase the power of Robin. And the power of Lopani. Because Lopani is a monster sometimes. Well, off we go into uh, the normal lands. Honestly, can't wait for the secondary base to be created here. Because that'll just be nice. All in all, that cave was kind of... Eh. Professor, Professor Laventon told me how you fell to the land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokémon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But I still wonder what my true purpose is here. <coughs> ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry on. Hello, Golducks. But now we're in the main meat of the region. A normal Heracross. So many bloody angry Pokemon. Well, not really the meat of the region, I suppose, because there's still these cliffs blocking us. But ever so slightly more. Almost wish that it was night time to better explore the area. Ah, Stantler, me boy. Huh. Jerk. You can't put me to sleep. I'm too scared to die. Yeah, the more that I play the game, the more I'm just like, what's next? What is the answer? What is the truth to the question? Alright. Melly's here and he's gonna be a bitch. What's the big idea of putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impossible to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm, well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokémon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner, Pokemon. How will you proceed, Neon? I'll beat him. Go, Skunk Tank! Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly! Alright, maybe this guy is just... Maybe he is just dumbass. Aura Sphere. I should have done... S All right. Annihilate him. Don't give him a chance. Out of the way, jerk boy. 
Hey, why? Listen here, neither I nor Skunk Tank admit defeat just yet. A challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skunk Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions. But for now, let us press on. He's just a bastard. Either he's a... He definitely kind of acts like a... Rocket, uh, executive admin. Oh, what's that? What's that Pokemon? Is that unknown? No, that's a... It looked unknown-ish, but it's, uh, the geared dudes. Kind of gong dudes? Gear dudes, yeah. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build up the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gaze of wild Pokemon. Ah, uh, there you are, Ingo. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about the memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could somehow be caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame. But then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Neon. I think if it's to do with the rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you, then, Neon? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something. I saw God. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. That's, you think so? Indeed. I did some digging and found records indicating that the space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it. It appeared as... Ah, it's already appeared once. This could work with my... The, this could work in my Team Galactic from the main games caused the space time rift theory. Because if it happened in the distant past of ancient... So we're in distant past Asui. And the distant past of the distant past, the rift opened once before. Weird. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why is the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Neon have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would erase, uh, it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Neon. Until next time, then. He showed up at the perfect time. What's through here? It will be just a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. But yeah, the gear, the gear Pokemon. Let's see. No feeding for you. At the same time, maybe it would like a, a little food. Go! Alright, a bronzor. So not technically gear, but kind of gear. And brazong up there.
Are you enraged? Nope. Hmm. Oh, wrong one. I was like, where's my Pokemon? Not in that cab, idiot. Huh. Well, this is a poor typing for me. Agile Air Slash. It'll do less damage and will hopefully let us whittle away at it. Once more, we'll probably be able to catch it. There we go. Go! Ultra Ball! Come to me, Brazong! Enter into the glory of team. Good job, Robin. You did well, Robin. All right, onwards we go. We are still. What is Melly's deal? It'd be interesting to know. I'm sure we'll get an answer. Oh, maybe that answer was answered already. It... Oh. He's a very angry boy. He's a very angry boy. Let's go ahead and try and kill it. You think the ice would do more? Shadow Claw. That's not good. Please don't go twice. Don't go shiny. Ice shot. And an Ursarang. I don't think we've caught an Ursarang. And at least it doesn't look enraged, so we might be able to catch it. There. Nothing to worry about. It's food. Nice food. Into the the small of your back. It is now mine. God, now now the idea that Pokemon. I disturbing ideas. Why do I have the feeling that I just stole away a Kangaskhan from its parent? Metaphorically speaking. Oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, so no wonder this area is going to be so big. It's actually very carved up. Oh, I love the music, though. I need to, I need to raise my audio. My personal audio. It should be fine for stream. Can't catch me. I've got to something to uh, do with... Ah, that's another Ginkgo Guild. I thought it was Volo for a moment. But we already had a Volo moment. Oh, you're part of the Galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you were all planning to set up a camp. But it seems not so much progress has been made since that Bronzor is getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please... Do you think uh, you could find out what the Bronzor wants? Setting up the mountain camp. Love the music in this game. Hello, Bronzor. What is it you require? Zor. You want something from over there? Is there something over that way? Ah, its friend has been taken hostage. He must annihilate this Golduck. 
Probably not. It just seems <laughs> that's but my idea. Welcome back, Purple Fire Kitty. We've made decent progress on things. Ran into our first legendary of the playthrough. And now we're on our way up the Mount Coronet Road. Hello, other Bronzor. Would you like to make it over to your friend? Or maybe it was the Golduck. Or maybe it's sick. I saw Bronzor go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What in the- That Bronzor! It's wounded! This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. Ah. <laughs> I have popcorn. Huzzah! There, that should do it. Bronzor should be as fit as a fiddle now. Seems the Bronzor are at the new campsite was looking for its friend the whole time. I'm glad you looked into it, otherwise you may have been too late to treat this Bronzor. This land is dangerous, even for the Pokémon that call it home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of wares stocked for you, so please buy anything that you need. Ah, and it seems the base camp has been all set up while we were talking. In which case, I should get settled in as well. So long. Yay! Now we don't have to go through some caves. Here I thought the friend was just, uh... Oh, yeah. And, uh, while you're away... I came to the conclusion that, uh... Since what, what the legendary that was that we ran into was actually on the etchings in the cave. I wonder what other legendaries are going to be in this game. I'm personally hoping for the uh, emotional, uh, the emotion lake trio. Azel, Muzel, uh, those three. I am terrible with names. Hello again, Captain. Ah, the bronze are here. Woot woot. But where am I going to find the crunchy? Hmm. Uh, wrong button. I'm going to activate... Even more wares and see if we can... Nope, it's not going to be highlighted. Darn you, fireman. I want the deer one. Weir deer? Stantler? There's quite a few deer Pokemon that come to my mind. Alright, we need to make quite a few things, I think. Ooh, a max potion. We can actually make quite a few max potions. Make 36, why don't we? And a few Ultra Balls. Now that this campsite is set up, I can't wait to begin exploring, although looking about for the wisps in this area feels like it's going to be a bit difficult. What's that? Looks like mushrooms. And dear god, the space-time rift. Uh -huh. uh. Fly and get it. But I want it! I want it now! And mushrooms, and I want the mushrooms. Give me the mushrooms! The legendary deer of the crystal... Ah, yeah, that one. From X and Y, I forget its name. There we go. Duffel bonnets. We have arrived at our destination. Now we have to talk to him. I want to explore. Oh, we're not going to get a flying Pokemon. We're gonna get a climbing Pokemon. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as this, yes. But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work, uh, work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in his Hisui, surely. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. He remembers HM! Just who was I before I came to Hisui? If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would not jog my memory loose. Would you honor me with a battle? Sure thing, my man! 
All aboard, then. Machoke, prepare for departure. I like this guy. Oh, that's so cool! Warden Ingo challenged you to battle. And he has three Pokemon! Woot woot! I'm sorry, you picked the wrong Pokemon to put against me. Psycho Cut! I'm glad I have popcorn. It's been a long time since I've had popcorn. Glizgore. That's new. I forgot, you're no longer flying. The oh, hell, it goes twice! I didn't even get to see. Let's see. Who's good? Ah. Schneezel. Since we're going to go see Schneezler. Work well for your distant cousin ancestor. Ice Shark. And now, finish it off. Strong Ice Shard! Take your next one wisely, my old friend. Since this is a friendly fight, I will refrain from using a revive. Well, actually... I'll see how much danger there is. I won't use Robin in this fight, but I will bring him back so he can partake in the experience. And you feel that you get a ch another hit in. Well, that's not very nice now, is it? Let's see. Get a hit in! Poison jab it! Almost. You did well, Sneasel. Hmm. It's water and grass, I believe. I'll throw out. Flop bunny. Heal Sneasel. Well, not heal Sneasel, but revive Sneasel, so Sneasel can partake in the experience. A nice attempt there. Play rough! I love seeing that in 3D. Good job, Love Honey. And good fight, Warden Ingo. Bravo! Excellent! Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory! Now allow me to call Schneezler. Comes from above. That is an awesome looking Pokemon. I love it. I want to own one. Allow me to introduce you, Neon. This keen clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? It's so sassy. I love it. Sneasler opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Receive the Toxic Plate. Toxic Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of poison. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that wee Pokemon to gain the power of the poison type. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasler's aid and quell the lord up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard! 
<laughs> that's me, no cap. That's me as a Pokemon. I think that's all of us as Pokemon. You can now call Sneezer to scale into sin, sheer cliffs, and rock faces. Oh, that's awesome. Climb me with Sneasler. You can climb up and down cliffs, ledges, and other sheer surfaces with Sneasler's aid. To summon Sneasler, press the A button when you're near a climbable surface or use the plus button in any other location. Awesome. Just look at Sneasler. And now I can get these as well. And it climbs really fast too. Jesus Christ. Is Electrode really... Is Lord Electrode really right on top of the diddly dang rift? I was saying Sneasler, sorry about spelling. And yeah, Sneasler is all of us as a Pokemon. It is the perfect Pokemon for everybody. <laughs> Our Pokemon. Ah, that's a Mega Bronzong. I mainly just want to look for... Huh, I wonder. Yay, it's a quick swap! Ever so slightly quick swap. That was a terrifying noise behind me. But okie doke. Awesome. Now I can explore most places now. Even though a few of the places I think I was supposed to have Sneasler for, I just kind of glitched the, the physics a bit. And I love my eyes, just in, in the back of the box. But yeah, this is wonderful. Now I can make lots of progress. Man, there's so many places I can go up here. Hmm, let me quickly check and see. What missions? Where will the main mission take us? Perilous Heights. Up there, that arena. So I can go about pretty much anywhere I want. Who's up? But yeah, just the the different kinds of Pokemon they like give you access to is wonderful. The different kinds of Pokemon to expand in the search of everything. Utterly fantastic. And not to mention, it's because they're also using, like, different takes on Pokemon, like Sneasler here. Just utterly fantastic. Now I can go so many different places. Chimico? Very interesting. And an Onyx. Hopefully it's not an Alpha Chimico. But it's hard to tell. With the... Your friend is mine! Your friend is mine! <laughs> okay, so Chimico and brings Pokemon to eat my soul. Good to know. All right. Gather this soul for me. <laughs> I love the cat bud. Uh, sassy cat weasel is best Pokemon. Right now, I'm mostly looking for wisps and new Pokemon, as well as just exploring in general. It's so cool. Although, I think it would have been nice if the game had a tutorial on Rock Smash being used in the overworld. It was basically because I can only imagine the amount of fools that will play this game 
and be like, why can't I go past this rock? It has cracks in it. I should be able to go past this rock. And then people will just be like, you throw a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash at it. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Which is kind of fair. <gasps> Variant Sneasel! Variant Sneasel! Yes, 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 yes. Variant Sneasel. I need to catch it so it can be in my book. Please come with me. Come with me and you will see a world of imagination, Sneasel. No, Sneasel, please! I want you to be my friend. Yay. Darn it. That's... Sneasel, 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 Sneasel. Sneasel, 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 Sneasel. Oh, Rosa Raider here, I guess. All right. Awesome. It's a variant type, too. Hisuian form. It looks cool. I will have... And to evolve it will probably also be... A Razor Claw. What do I need from it? Hmm. Number defeated. Seen it. Oh, I need to, I can give it food. Go get food, little boy. Feast to your heart's content. Adorable. And come with me. Huzzah. Level 45. Jesus. Ah. I'll make a half-assed effort to catch the skunk tank. Sure. Just freaking look at that. Look at that. This is the... People crapped on the game's graphics. The game's graphics are fine. It's not about how many polygons there are. Some of the textures could be a bit more texturous. But it's just like, overall, the graphics of this game do what a game's graphics are supposed to do. Fit the game. Toodle suckers! Ow! I, I did not toodle suckers correctly. I am, in fact, the sucker. Aha, I'm in pain. At least I didn't get knocked off while, while riding Sneasler. Well, there's less riding and being carried by. I guess let's see what's over on this side. I find it funny that we can't have Waterfall. Waterfall is not an HM move. But we can climb next to the Waterfall. I want to do just that. We'll have to run by the Pokemon of Evil. But yeah, so far, this game is utterly fantastic. So many. Oh, that's what I thought. What is that up in the sky? What is that up in the sky? Is it a... Darn it. I'm terrible at catching flying Pokemon. I need a ton of the wing balls to actually do it. Doesn't help that it also has a very wide path. Huh, I wonder if you can negate landing damage with that. But hey, at least I got one spirit. One wisp. And there's a magnazone up in the sky, which is good to know. Alright. 
Let's descend. I want to swim up the waterfall. Same, but sadly, it does not appear that that's possible. At least not with the current set of Pokemon we have, and I don't think they'll have, like, a specific, like, ah, oh, here's the one that knows Surf, and then here's the one that waterfalls. Besides, why waterfall when you can rock climb? Crunchy salt! That is what I require! Is this... Could this possibly be... Oh! Okay. I didn't realize that! Okay! You can climb trees! So it's not even like rock climb, it's just... Climb. 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 Ah, another Sneasel. It requires... It wants to fight. Okay, it's fighting poison, so... I honestly don't know what to send out for you. The rock type was probably a poor decision. Gyarados. Neat. Really need to heal up all my Pokemon. Or, you know, just not get into fights. But you never know when the game will throw Melly at me. And he'll be like, ah, fight me. And I'll be like, I don't want to. You're a bitch. Oh, hey, a uh, nose pass. Well, not nose pass, but... Help! That's a nose pass. I forget what that one's name is, and I found a cave. Woot. All right. There's just so many places you can go here. I love it. Well, let's run past the Alpha Pokemon into the Cave of Wonders! <gasps> oh, no! Okay, it didn't, it didn't notice the care. But okay, there's fossils here. Neat. I know that Pokemon, I just don't know its name. That- oh, I know both those Pokemons, but I forget their names. Really cool that they put that in. Maybe they'll show up in a distortion rift, because, you know, time space. Yeah, interesting. Sayonara, sucker! Oh, hey! A Gligar! Hmm. You followed, you bitch! Kill! I thought I healed you. God damn it, you're gonna die. I hate it when I just try to go past Pokemon. And then I come back, it's like, oh, I'll fight you. And then one from the past decides to come haunt me. Why do you do so much damage? And now you're gonna kill him. Well, now you're dying on principle. Because honestly, screw this. I want to send out multiple Pokemon if I have to fight multiple Pokemon. Hey, it should be my turn. My turn to go first. Probably should have put more better moves on you. You should be dead. But at least if you survive this, then you can kill him. Yeah. 
jerk. Yeah, just really annoyed. Really annoying that the game just throws. I came all this way, it was over there, beyond the trees, the horizon and all. And the game was just like, yeah, it followed you. Fuck that guy then. I'll throw him off a cliff. Throw all the brazongs off a cliff. Into the ocean, watch them rust. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and crunch him a little. Cause I don't want to do a super effective, cause then the game will give me a crit and it'll just annihilate it. Crunch once more. Thank you for trying to use Mud Bomb. Actually, I think I will. Just to be safe. And go Ultra Ball. Catch the Gliger. Just wish I could send out multiple of my Pokemon to face down multiple of their Pokemon. But maybe that's the cost of the Agile system. Like this Agile Strong system. And then there's uh, that guy. So at least we know that you exist. I shall flee from you. Up a cliff. You'll never see me again. Hello and welcome to Gr Gliger Mountain. But yeah, now everything's just open the hell up. We we're already down there, so let's go to Clamber Cliff. That's where we got our Chimico down there. <gasps> Ooh, get more of the Gibble type. What's that over there? I want to know. Don't Draco Meteor- I forgot that you like, eh, I'm gonna scream at you and knock you off your Pokemon. That sounded like a Draco Me Meteor. Is this time- is this- what's the word? What something Pillar. Uh, this is the Something Pillar. Screw you. Dialga. Hmm. Triangle. Triangle. Symbols. I wonder. Come on, these are supposed to be peaceful ruins. How is somebody supposed to explore this place? Yeah, th yeah, this is very interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Because surely the... The triangles have to mean something. Because I think you can even give your Pokemon symbols. I wonder. I'm sure that the professor will have a 
mission for us and be like, oh, there's a legend, but you can only see it by playing the Pokemon game that was released on the, the Virtual Boy. It holds the secret. There's something. Now this is starting to feel like Breath of the Wild. Ancient ruins running about being like, I wonder what they mean. Everything else in this game does not feel that much like Breath of the Wild, but this... This area specifically feels like Breath of the Wild, but only, like, aesthetically. Because you're, like, in an open world with, uh, super stylized graphics, and you come across a ruin. It's just super cool. Because at first I thought it was going to be, like, an Arceus. Uh, an Arceus statue. But no, it's Palkia and Dialga. Wonder if the professor will have something to say about them. Okay, creepy music. I just can't wait to know more. Do more. At least that kind of goes to show that yes, Palkia and Dialga are included somewhat. Oh, 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 oh! Rotom! Rotom! Rot! Rotom! 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 Rotom, please! Rotom, please! Rotom, please! Rotom, please! Rotom! Rotom, please. Rotom, please. I want the Rotom. I never get guaranteed paralysis. I don't want to use my Shadow Claw. Too risky. That was kind of silly, but I, I kind of respect it. Go Ultra Ball! I did not expect Rotom in this game. Granted, I don't really know what Pokemon I expect to appear in this game. Darn you, Rotom! Get in the ball! It's good for your health! It was one Pokeball! Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Why are you killing my Pokemon? I shall send out Akuma. He'll be able to stall you out a bit. As I throw another Pokeball at you. Get in the ball, Rotom. You can hang around with Fion and Manaphy. Get in the ball! You are already in raid. He's a rock man. You can't do that. I throw another Ultra Ball. And then I shot, and then I missed, then I shot, then I missed, then he grew enraged, then I shot. Get in the ball! You're a ghost type. I don't have anything that can reliably not kill you. Why do you get to go twice? That's not nice. Just get in the goddamn diddly damn damn ball. Because I don't want to do anything, because the game will just... Well, I guess it also raised its defense, so... Oh, fuck off, game. Honestly. Ah, you missed. It is getting out. Why? And it got a freaking critical hit. Why? Throw another freaking Pokeball. Get in the ball! Why? I don't have a reliable way of not killing you! It's 
Seriously, game, I literally do not have a way of ensuring that the game doesn't kill you. Please, get in the goddamn ball. I don't want to risk things. At least keep using Shadow Ball. We'll try the least powerful move. Eh, I avoid the attack. Game is being very mean. So now I almost don't want to do it because now the game will guarantee that it dies. I don't trust the game. I don't want to kill the Rotom. Yay! I didn't want to risk it because I know what this game is. This game is a jerk. It looks at my Pokemon. It's just like, oh, you want to catch this Pokemon? Oh, you want to catch this Pokemon? And then it's just like, well, actually, I'm going to make sure that this Pokemon dies to you. How about you feel like that? The game is mean. The game is very mean. And so I, that's why I don't trust it. I don't trust it the least bit. Granted, there is another one over there, but still, I don't trust it. For all I knew, that was like a super rare Rotom Pokemon that only shows up once on the blue moon. When Jerry laughs. Who is Jerry? No one knows. That's why you have to be careful and scared of this game. Oh, hey. Uh, Voltorbs. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. But I guess I could, technically. Let's see. I throw mud at your face, you big disgrace. Fine, I'll fight you. you. Jerks. I just wanna explore! I just wanna explore! The game's like, and now here's an alpha. Not even an alpha I care about. Try and kill him. Darn you, why do you live? Why must you insult my soul? Insult my hero! You are a bastard! The most bastarding bastard to ever saw. You have no family. Mm, family you do not have. Because you are bitch. <laughs> you still. Kick his ass. Back in my day, we had to worry about the actual open space and not just everything else and now it's snowing kill tear out its soul there's even snow texture there's snow texture i love it all right let's try and catch this here lovely Darn, I missed. Well, let's see. We will throw out Sneasel and see if this is the Pokemon that we're still looking for. Nope, it's a nightmare. It's gonna kill me. I can't even attack trees anymore. The trees are getting scary. 
Kill it. Don't explode. I don't want you exploding in my face. Darn it. I roll through you. I hope that did damage to you. Nope. They can explode eternally. They're monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Perhaps even monsters that can fit in your pocket. Why do you always get the guaranteed? You are a nightmare monster! Nightmare monster! They don't even have to work for their doubles. The game just like, here, you can attack twice in a row. I look at it, it says, ah, it'll only go once, and then it goes a million times. At least it got in the ball. And a time-space nightmare is forming, and I'm not gonna go in. We're too busy. Exploring this place for realsies. I just want to see what that, like, upcoming statue is. At least I thought there was a statue. Ah, uh, it's just up there at the ruins. Why? I don't care about you! I want to explore! Oh, hey, a Rhydon out in the wild. Giovanni would be happy. And we can go over there and get that wisp. We definitely are going to want a lot of exploration. Hey, I just realized something. I think this is the first time... Hello, Rhyperior Nightmare Bastard. Leave me alone. I do not want to deal with you. I flee from you. If I stay in this box, that will never hit me. Because everyone knows... Pokemon respect the rule of I am in a text box. Fuck off. You dare attack your queen. Although that would be kind of a weird mechanic if you could walk up to Pokemon with their evolutionary like uh, noble and though they wouldn't run away. Would be a little weird of a mechanic, but also would be a really cool mechanic as well. Just saying. But yeah, this is all really cool. Hmm. Fabled Spring. Did we go to the Fabled Spring? I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the Fabled Spring whether or not we actually were there before. Down the waterfall we go! I love the double jump. Splash! Yeah, I think we were in the Fable Spring before. Pokemon that have red just naturally in their color palette always make me think, oh no! Pokeball with all of you. Ah, we just didn't feed it. But neat. So we have, like, just a bunch of Pokemon out here. Caught at night. 
and given food. Shut up, you saw nothing. Dazzling honey, that way! Don't use metronome on me, please. <laughs> that is basically all I ask. Do not use metronome on me. I gave you food and you do not like me! But you are Pokemon! Get in ball! I don't have space in my satchel for that. Okay, that is... This music is super interesting and cool. But now it's gone. Profound sadness. But yeah, this is very cool. Like this, like, ancient reimagining of Sinnoh. This is all very cool. But let's see. Uh, what few requests? We haven't run into any Miss Dreavuses yet. Uh, we Oh, we have Crunchy Rock Salt! We can give him his Crunchy Rock Salt! We can open up the swell! We can't do that one yet. We still need to do it. So, yeah, we can do at least do that. And, yeah, I'm going to head back. And I'm going to... Just to see what happens. Because we've done a decent bit, saw a decent bit, done a decent bit. Hello, my friend. I've got 20 Pokemon. Are you happy for me? 16, ha! I'm rich! Oh, it seems you made some observations. Let's see. No completions, except for Clefairy, apparently. Because I fed it a lot, I guess. And it'll... Oh. Okay, never mind. It'll still take a bit to... Finish up the... To the eighth star, but still. And now we're probably going to run into a bunch of requests. But I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Okay, not that many requests. We're gonna give that guy his rock salt. And be like, dude, just make business with the man. Make business with him. Oh, why is she always getting lost? Every time I'm in trouble, you turn up just like clockwork. That's right, Wanda's missing again. Please help me find my lost sister. Hey, use Ursa Luna, you know, the Pokemon that can't climb cliffs up in the Coronet Highlands. Some requests. The Clefairy's Moonlit Dance. Astar of the Supply Corps says he'd like to use, uh, like us to look into something about the habits of Clefairy. Find out more from him about the peculiars, particulars. And then, a nose pass to the game. A guide thingy, guide pass, I don't know, bleh. My brain is turning to mush. Gu Gully of the Supply Corps has requested help. Something to do with say a saying about Nose Pass. Seek her out and put her your surveying skills to use by pinpointing her in the right direction. But I can't wait. Yeah, and this is just like the base game. And apparently there's a post game. So long as I'm not mixing it up with a different game, this should have a post game as long as the main game. Which I love it. True. Oh, if it isn't the survey call recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isles. Has Choi sent you to do the negotiating for him again? Yep. You're looking a little perplexed, wondering why this old man gets so stubborn over selling the shopkeeper a few things. Well, maybe I'll tell you if you bring me three hunks of crunchy salt first. Brought what I asked for already? No less than I expected of you. Would I persuade you to join my corps? Now then, would you let me have the three hunks of crunchy salt? Sure. We use the force to hand it over. Ah, crunchy salt! The Coronet Island's finest feature! If we who see it in the wild, don't pass it over as if it were just another rock. This translucent mineral is great for making a potent Pokemon you are. You've got to break it up with a hammer, then get the chunks in a mortar and crunch them up right up and grind them into a powder. 
Mix that powder with another ingredient, then pack that mix together, and you'll get a crunchy cake that Pokemon love to munch on. Well, I can't send you back to Choya Failure, since you so kindly brought me this crunchy salt. Tell him I'll set him up some new wares. I forgot. You wanted to know what happened between me and Choi? Well, that whelp made off with my dearest treasure. I'll never let, it, let him live it down. What treasure? Did he steal a Pokemon? His wife? Himself? Is he the guy's son and he just ran away? Who knows? Hey, dude. We've got new goods in stock thanks to you, but you seem troubled. Is something the matter? You stole his treasure? Uh, you said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story's not so simple. Please believe me for now that it's nothing you ought to worry about. Given what a fine customer you are, I imagine I'll end up giving you the full story at some point. In any case, we've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. Did you steal his heart? Let's see. What new things? I guess uh, the other Pokeballs, potions, and the, the like. Overall, decent, decent. Anything that I want to sell? Now I'm saving those so I can turn them into dippity dops. Then again, I don't really need all that much money. I have a fuck ton of money. Could learn moves. Ah, oh, let's see. What recipes do we have? Nothing new, it seems. Maybe. Salt cake, ox power. Well, sock case. Uh, salt cake. Sticky glob. A recipe for crafting sticky globs from scratch. Interesting. Max Ether! Well, since I have the money for it, I might as well buy sti sticky glob. And see what the hell a sticky glob is. Sticky glob, sticky glob. What the hell is a sticky glob? Stealth sticky glob. A ball of some kind of sticky substance hitting a Pokemon uh, with one may stun it, create an opening for you to act. Ah, just another stun thing that you can make. Okie dog. Sure, I have lots of money right now. It'll just be nice to be able to pick up a lot of things. Final one for now. Then I'm gonna start buying, like, materials and moves. Jesus Christ, you just don't give up, my dude. All right, well, let's see. Quests, quests. Clefairy's Moonlit Dance. And Nose Pass Guide to the Way. Ah, Nose Pass to Guide the Way. All right. Clefairy's Moonlit Dance is in here. Good thing I looked. Why couldn't you just talk to Laventon instead of putting it on a blackboard? Back where I came from, Clefairy would come out and dance on nights with full moon. I've heard there are Clefairy and Hisui, and so I was wondering if they dance here too. I've heard you can find Clefairy at the Fabled Spring. Could you go and find out if Clefairy dance here in Hisui region? Alright, so that's a bit more involved, but hey, nice to know. And then, Nose Pass to guide the way. And, uh... Ah, you're out here. Out there. Understandable. Maybe. Yep, no nose pass to guide the way. Hoot hoot. Alright. Bloody lots to do, and then we need to look for his sister in the Highlands. The Coronet Highlands. Yibbity dibbity do. Ah, what new things do you have for me? 
Just, uh, more diddlies. Granted, I could buy a decent amount of these. Which I probably should. And we're running low on these berries, too. At least I can buy them in bulk now. <laughs> Once you get to a certain point in the game, it's just like, it's better to just buy these items. I keep throwing away certain things. Well, not throwing away, but putting away. Alright, take me back to the Cornet Highland. To the Highland Camp, because the quest is there. And then we'll probably head quickly up. Occasionally check and see where the sister is. Let's see. Ah, there you are. Right behind us. Oh good, I've been waiting for someone from the Survey Corps to come along. I want to gather crafting materials in Wayward Cape, but I realize I've got a bit of problem. My sense of direction is worse than useless. If there's any chance at all of getting lost in that cave, you can bet that's what I'll do. But I know a way to keep myself from stumbling around in the dark. I see there's an old saying in my hometown, a nose pass never wanders. Since nose pass always face the same direction, people from my village would uh, look to this Pokemon for guidance when they'd lost their way. Though I admit I've not actually seen a nose pass before in my life, but little matter. I just need to find myself a nose pass before I find myself hopelessly lost. I'll check the direction it faces against my map and navigate through the cave with ease. I'll look around for a nose pass too, but if you catch one before, would you mind giving it to me? I already have them, uh, no. and I probably will need it in my party, so we might as well swap in a nose pass. I'm sorry, my boy. We will bring a nose pass to you, lady. Nope. Interesting. I shall flee! What if it was a trick and she instead wants to eat my soul? Did you find Nose Pass for me? Oh, I could have done it from here anyway. I, you can never tell with this game. That's a Nose Pass, alright. Thanks for finding it. Now, as I understand it, this Pokemon's giant nose always points in the same direction. So if it's facing this way, that means the exit must be over there. A Nose Pass never wanders indeed. I wish I'd encountered this Pokemon sooner. I owe you a big thanks. It's such a relief to finally have a Nose Pass as my trusty guide. All the twists and turns of Wayward Cave can't stop me now. I guess. Doubt it. And now... I will go ahead and leave the cave so that we can just climb over. We haven't run into Melly, but we'll probably run into Melly at his dearly beloved Electrode base camp. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, an unknown should be around here. Or a soul. Either or. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly check. There was something about an unknown in Twin Falls. Do, 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 do. And I think there might be another area because scale the frozen falls. So we haven't seen any frozen falls yet. Yeah, neutral stone, gaze upon great glacial legacy. Oh, da, da, da. Twin trees at the spring of the sea. Nope, not yet. Uh, we'll have to go back there. Three pillars in a world of ice. Da, 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 da. Tree fell by sludge. Impasse cave. An impasse in the cave. Ah, so it's in the cave. Oh, right, right. I'm super dumb. 
Well, we got uh, that, and I think it's coming night. But uh, an impasse in the cave by Twin Falls. An impasse, so a dead end in one of here. We need to be really careful looking out for at an impasse. There you are. How did I not see you the first time I was here? Or maybe you just didn't spawn in the first time. So that's complete. Yay! Love it. I love with, uh, translating the unknown riddles. Well, not riddles, but hints. And then just being like, oh yeah, that, that exists. Now I just need to look for more wisps. Because it should be heading to night time. I hate that you knocked me off my Pokemon. It's a very nice Pokemon. I'm not nice for you. Oh, we're just up here. And now that we have Sneasler, we can probably climb about in here. Because this place is interesting. I wonder if there are any, like, uh... Yeah. I shall flee f by the walls! <laughs> well, Luigi, don't follow your plans! Because <laughs> quite honestly, I would I would expect them to put a soul <gasps> ah, Yeah, I knew they put something in here. They put an unknown in here! Hello there, unknown buddy. I've fallen and I can't get up! Ay, 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 ay. I almost fell to my death for you. Get in the ball. Although my cries, I have fallen, but I can't get up. I have fallen and I'm gonna die! Okay, that was an accident. I flee. I'm in pain. <laughs> Iron. Help! Nope. I think they pulled me back and Sneezer was just like, no, and grabbed onto the wall instead. Good job, Sneezler. Fast thinking there. still wish that it would be, like, eternally blue so that I could actually super hone in. Oh! 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 <gasps> I just remembered there's another cave in the Cobalt Coast that we can now get to because we can climb! And here I thought we were gonna need a flying Pokemon. Who needs a flying Pokemon when you have Sneasler? Sneasler is a wonderful Pokemon. Best Pokemon. But only time will tell if Sneasler becomes the next Lopunny. The next Gardevoir. The biased masses of the world will probably deny it. Despite the fact that Sneasler is a... That is totally where a unknown and or wisp will be. I wish that I could wait time wherever I wanted Skyrim style. I understand why they don't, because 
then you just, like, super spam the time mechanic. But you could still punish people by doing that. If people keep doing it, you just drop a few alphas on them and, uh, the weird deer and the like are too tired to get you away and they get nuked. So yeah, a soul, te a soul definitely appears here. Magnazone. Alright. I need him to stop for a moment. Oh, there! Get in the ball! Get in the ball! I'll throw it again! I'll throw it again! You can't stop me! I am the mastermind of the world! Dang it, miss. I'm terrible of timing in the air. Or aim. A little bit of both. I'm terrible. I hate. Oh, what? Why wants to fight me? You, Glugger? Wish I could be like. Hmm. Go, fight him! I wanna fight you! I don't wanna- I don't care. I don't care. Why do you wanna fight so badly? Why does he get to go first? I should go first. I'm the protagonist! I'm the protagonist, therefore I deserve to go first. I always deserve to go first. Dang it. I hate you. Then again, I don't really get much use out of those. I keep forgetting to actually throw them. Like, how do you even begin to weaken these guys? Maybe because- I know there is a- uh, Hey, that works. I guess. I- because the advertisements do show a flying type Pokemon that you can ride. So obviously there is a way to actually engage Engage the flies, motherfucker. It is possible. Let's see. Defeative grass type moves. Ah, oh, yes, they only point in one direction. Hello. Oh, you're too slow. Haha! <laughs> you're so slow! It's time for you to die. Maybe next time, try not to be made of literal rock! Oh, <laughs> it actually caught, it got that for me. Hmm. Love the music. It takes me a moment for the music to really sink in and draw me out from my just frenzy of looking. I guess while I'm here. Dig. More balls of mud. Huh. Anything about catching them while I asleep? Nope. Well, uh, hopefully you'll come with me. 
Work, work. Waha, you missed. I keep jumping on to. I'm like Mario. I just jump on for no reason. Echo. I won't capture you against your will. That's what baddies do. And I'm a researcher, so that means I'm a good guy. I wonder how many Pokemon there are that are only able to be caught by flying about or using the air balls. Oh. We're on this side now. I long to adventure. Really, I long for it to be night so I can use these vantage points to find the wisps. But we can't have everything we want in this world. I had to double check because I saw purple. It was just like, is that the purple that I longed for? No, it is not the purple that I longed for. <laughs> Sneezler, just walking around. Unafraid. I steal your rock salt. Mwahahaha. Ha. Ah, we reached the world's edge. When it gets super foggy, you can no longer continue. Oh, hey! Golem! You didn't see anything. There's no real easy way to get from one place to another here. But da, da, da. I'll raise your defense with that. In fact, while we're here, you're probably going to take the brunt of the rage of the upcoming angry lord. Since you're a rock ground type, and the dude is still an electrode, so I highly doubt he's going to be that changed. Arcanine became rock and fire, but I. And now it's going to get dark, so I guess I'm going to actually make my way back. It was clear skies just a minute ago. I'm going to head back and see if I can get that Clefairy dance. Because the Clefairies were down here by the Fabled Spring, I believe. We are going to go to see the Clefairies dance. Although, I, I wonder if we actually have to find a night of the full moon. Or if any night will do. And then it'll just be like, ah, oh, it's a full moon already. Oh, let's see. Blue? Blue? No blue. Could be because she's in a cave. Now 
I just need to wait for the nightfall. Properly. What's that? Angry fish. Angry fish that is afraid, apparently. and dance for me, please. Grab. Grab. There we go. The nighttime music has activated. Is it a full moon? I don't see a moon. Love the music. Oh wait, you're clever. Oh, I don't have a clever and my my diddly. New Pokemon added. Bizarre. Let's see. No, I don't see a bloody moon. What if there's something specific for this one? Like if it's just come here at night or if there is more to it. Maybe. One of these alcoves. Well, there's a giant clefable. I don't think these flowers hide me. That doesn't look like a full moon, sadly, so there might be something specific to it. I kinda wish I was back over that, like, twin trees. So we should be nearby. Surely they're nearby. Those twin trees right there! Nope, no blue. Disappointing. What do you mean this ain't? Dude, this is clearly a thing for a place thing. But there is soul over there. Near the Magnazone. I think the Magnazone pushed someone off the cliff. That could have been me. If it weren't for the fact that I'm capable of surviving any fall. Once. We're gonna head over and see about dealing with the Lord and see how angry Melly gets. Because for some reason he's just like, ah, oh, power good for 
What need, who needs restraint? Just power. Personally, I think there's something more to him. If only because he's the most antagonistic. So that kind of just leads me to be like, I want there to be more to him. How are you even hiding in that tree? That makes no sense. Kill! What with that? Let's see. Blue? Oh, just right on top of Dig. Sky Tumblestone, 20 of them. All right, there's no statue here. But there is the dude of his skunk tank. It's poison type, I think. So, once more, Robin. We're gonna need you to annihilate this guy's skunk tank because he's an asshole. I come riding. And I shall here to destroy you. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of the Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supported of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh, and right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode Seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skunk Tank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. What is your deal, Madman? Ow, and he threw out three. Ah, let's see. Annihilate the Zubat. Okay, it wasted its turn. Venom Shock! Yay, my favorite. Alright, annihilate the Skoropi. Don't know where he drugged these three up from. Now that's all left is the skunk tank. Let's see, what Pokemon do we have? I shall send out my ground rock type. I'll have to heal him up before we fight Lord Electrode. Destroy him. And finish him off. Jerk! You are a jerk! Uh, let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference! I just lacked a time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah, uh, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Shino truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. You are a terrible warden. Adamant! What's the matter? Upset, too bad anger doesn't make bombs. Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Neon? I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Adamon! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what she needs to find just like that? 
Lest we all forget you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being all my among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like the trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off those f these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Neon here. This is bigger than what that what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her what she need eats crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. Now it's time to make some bombs, so lend a hand, both of you. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly shirked his duties as warden. I'll help make your precious bombs. Ah, so he is just a dumbass. I thought there might be something more to him. Nope. He's just the most antagonistic warden. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck it... I'll chuck all you like at Electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt he likes of you can quell it. Alright. Heal up my Pokemon. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to use Robin, but at the same time, who knows. But probably going to use Akuma more than anything. Because ground... So, even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode. I'm ready to battle. Heh, <laughs> you've got a great deal more pluck than you have since, I'll give you that. A word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. I love the never- I love the fact that they avert never say die. They do have, like, you will die. Granted, they don't kill anyone so far. Why is it in a tree? <gasps> I can climb! Oh. Because it's Electrode Voltor bastards. Hello! Hello! Oh. Okay. Lord of the Hollow! Electrode! Oh crap. It really is never stop moving. You're killing your children. Jesus Christ! Help! Help! I can't gain any distance on these bastardy things! Okay, it's gone away. Help! Help! Adamant! Fight me! Jesus! What? Why does he know a move like that? He's an electric type! He's a bitch type! One shot him, my dude. What a bitch. Yeah, and I can just normal do it. Save my power points. I should probably save my uh, bombs because I think for each health bar segment 
it activates another part of the fight, and I don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. Probably no point in that, because he's just, like, a bastard. Okay. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I want to redirect my thumb! I was slipping off my control stick! Help! Help! Satan! Help! Help! I can't escape. That was close. I'll try again. I, did, I had no idea what energy ball thing did to destroy my dude in one go. What is energy ball to annihilate Akuma like that? Or, less, or is it an ability? I don't know. It's rock and ground, and that's clearly an electric move, my dude. Luckily, Sneasel outspeeds you. Akuma is the sacrificial lamb. Akuma is the sacrificial lamb to appease Lord Electrode. I wish that I could run them into him. If he clearly doesn't give a crap about typings for his moves. Alright. I'll revive him just so that he gets experience. Alright. I think he's activating, maybe. Nope. I thought he was gonna activate the next section. Open his weak point. Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, crap. That's not good at all. Woo! Go, Sneasel! Beat him up! Unless he outspeeds you. Okay, he's just trying to paralyze. Booyah! I get to go first. Then I get to go second. Paralysis? No paralysis. I win. Come on, come on. Booyah! Electrode is saved. Even if he just annihilates my ground rock type somehow, despite using a seemingly electric moves. Lightning rod or something? Is this the ability that gives Pikachu from the anime the ability to annihilate ground and rock types. Ooh, we actually get to see his face in more detail. <laughs> Neat. I win. I only got hit once. Hello, Electrode. Ah, oh, he's happy. You received the Zap Plate from Electrode. Zap Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of electricity. When used on certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the electric type. Oh, for shame. What a calamity. I agree to make those accursed bombs, yes, but now that almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever. It's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me. Glad it's suffering ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adamant. Seriously, that's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. <laughs> Classic projection. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrived right on schedule. Now what did you bother coming back for? 
only to say that I recalled some things after Neon did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we call Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves in their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds with understanding with their Pokemon, and with their opponents, and their Pokemon too, with everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described too, Neon? It sure was. I'd never have thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hey, Adamon, share with me again the wisdom of the Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. All right, all right. Open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow, for that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo! Excellent! Please, all of you, do your best and run toward the destination, an even higher state. Of course your higher state is clear, Neon. It surely lies with the next lord. Now this time, I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilee Village. Perhaps with someone like Neon to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, Neon. I love Ingo. Ingo is a wonderful character. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Amazing. Simply amazing. And now, I can climb trees! Surely they wouldn't put an unknown in here. Surely. Ow. I know they put an unknown in, uh, a different one. The Grand Tree of Cleaver. Okay, 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 I get- I got the message. Oh, hey. Neat. I just keep stumbling upon wisps. It'll be the final few wisps that are really going to bust my balls. Electabuzz. Here in the snow. Die! I must capture that Electrobuzz! You will get out of my way! Kill! But yeah, that Electrode fight was... Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! But that Electrode fight was quite amazing. Hmm. Let's see. Of all the Lord fights, there was Cleaver, there was Lilligant... There was actually Ursa Luna, didn't we? Didn't we fight Ursa Luna? No, I don't think we did. Actually, technically we did fight Ursa Luna, but it wasn't a noble battle. It was just a Pokemon battle. So yeah, Arcanine, Electrode, Cleaver, and Lilligant. Cleaver was very basic, but functional. Arcanine, I think, has to be the uh, quote-unquote worst, purely because it was just kind of eh. 
just kind of eh. It was mostly due to the way the arena was designed more than anything. It wasn't really the fight, because the fight itself was fine. I love the fact that you could uh, throw more diddly dees at it. And, uh, like, throw bombs at it while it was charging up an attack. And it would actually take away from the attack. That was a good mechanic. But the arena definitely shortchanged the fight. Oh yeah, we're still looking for her. Ay ay ay. It's gonna take us forever to find her. She could be in the cave for all we know. Because this place is the most difficult to traverse. Oh, wait, there is a statue thingy here. But it's broken. This looks like Pal uh, Dialga. Wait, no. Giratina! That's Giratina's goddamn statue! It's a statue of Pokemon, but it's been broken, and for some reason it's been left that way. That's fucking Giratina's statue! Ooh! Giratina is referenced. But considering that Palkia and Dialga's diddly doos are fine and actually, maybe, um, I got an idea. What if, what if, what if, because, like, obviously this one, this game is dealing with the clans that are like, oh, Time, ah, space, Palkia, Dialga, they think they're the almighty god even though they're the kind of subordinates underneath. Arceus. What if there's DLC to this game down the road that deals with, uh, Giratina? I would... I'm all for that. Giblet, no. Give what? No. But where the hell is... The blue. The blue. Hmm. Maybe she's in the stone portal? I'm trying to think. Where the hell would she be? But yeah, I'm just loving this game. And if there's ever DLC, yes. DLC, yes. I want DLC for this game. Well, it depends. If the story is in the good place for continuing, I'm all for it. So that's kind of the generic answer. Basically, everything is, if the game is good for DLC, I would like DLC for the game. So just going, basically saying it just feels kind of stupid. But yeah, I just hope, hope. Because like, if, the, if Giratina is mentioned somewhere in here, Yes. Yes. Nugget! A nugget! I don't need the fucking mud. Get out of here, mud. Get out of here, mud. Nugget! From a treasure chest. But yeah, this area. This area is the hardest to navigate, but just the freaking best. This is the best area. Sayonara, sucker. So yeah, either the sister is in a cave 
or I just haven't been near her enough, and I don't know the range. I guess that guy will probably turn me away, because we need to report to Kamado. Okay, Security Corps, can I go in there? This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. Alright, then I guess I have no choice but to go to the mountain camp and look for the sister. Look about for the goddamn sister. <gasps> yes, yes, she's nearby. Somewhere down here. There you are. Woo woo. Nihon, at last! Oh, I knew you'd come to find me. I got hit with a gust from a hunched crow that sent me tumbling right down the mountainside. I couldn't climb back up, and I couldn't get down either. So I've been stuck. So um, please get me back on track. You're always around to save me when I need it. If only you were in my core, Neon, I'd be so much better off. We're galaxy teammates. Really? It's such a relief to hear you say that. I'm so glad I can rely on you, Neon. Though it's a little embarrassing, I guess, to admit to myself that I need to rely on you. Oh, you know what? I used to think that Sneasler was a mean Pokemon since it looks sly and unsavory, but it helped me out of that real tight spot, so I guess it must be good at heart after all. Wrong way. Technically. All right. That was simpler than I thought in the end. Hmm. At the Fabled Spring on Nights with a Full Moon. So, yeah, specifically the Fabled Spring on a night of a full moon. So, I guess we'll head back to there. See if there's... Go to the night. Look up at the sky, see if it's a full moon, and scramble. Moon, moon, where's the full moon? And since this is a video game, I have no idea which way it'll actually appear, but yay. So far, yeah, this game, utterly amazing. And there's another noble, apparently. Or at least more nobles. I, that's Stone Pillar up there, I think. That is Stone Pillar at the top. Which makes sense, because that's where all the time shenanigans are supposed to happen. Time-space shenanigans. Wonder. Nope, not full moon. At least I don't think so. So yeah, you specifically have to wait for days of the full moon. But I guess that'll be it, and we'll head back to town and turn things in. I've got only seven, huh? Two unknown. I can't wait to get to Stone Pillar. Stone Pillar will be so interesting to actually see. Because, like, it makes sense for Stone Pillar to be the... Oh, yeah. Let's be off to the village. Because we quelled Lord, uh, Lord Electrode. Oh, I love this game. I love this game. The down... Mm. I think we'll do our report and then we'll constantly reset the night until we get a full moon so I can do the Clefairy. Then everything else will be basically, hey, catch this, or hey, max that out to a degree. I did it. It seems as if there's nothing you can't find. I'm always thanking you, but thanks again. There's simply no doubting your abilities. 
And I heard from Wanda how you were reassured her, telling her you're her teammates and all. She's even starting you calling her your, her savior. It really means a lot to her to be, to, be, to be accepted by someone like you. And as her big brother, I appreciate you keeping her safe too. I know sh that she can be a real scatterbrain, so I'm glad she's got you looking out for her. <laughs> she didn't even have to say anything that time. Ooh, two star pieces to sell. Well, to Commando. Commando. Oh, hey! Cool. I love seeing the small additions and differences as we ingratiate people towards Pokemon in this game. It's super satisfying. Hmm. So Warden Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. Huh. If, if Team Galactic is involved, like the Team Galactic from the main games, and this is an alternate reality created by their mucking about with Palkia and Dialga, and Giratina. Giratina's statue was broken. Could that symbolize that Cyrus got his hands on Giratina and this is the reverse world? That, it, that, or something? Like, I don't know. There's so many things that this could be. Because we're dealing with the gods of space, time, and alternate reality reverse world. Ugh. And what is that space time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Oh, tell him about Ingo's thoughts. Hmm, but you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. He's gonna poison me. He's gonna poison me. He's gonna kill me! But yeah, he's just like some... Team Galactic has to, from the main games, have to be involved. Somehow. And that's why Arceus sent us here, so that we could stabilize this alternate world and turn it against Team Galactic or something. I don't know. Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. It's totally poisoned. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous for the boss. Well, I've heard talk that our progress of vain Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous or at least dangerous task. But you, but can we talk about how you've gone through being some from nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Hisui? Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Neon. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. I just realized we haven't gone to the Pearl Camp, I don't think. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Neon, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one hit wit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps and Jubilee from the village now. There, there has to be something. Something odd is going on. The next day, you're dead. I want to be contacted by Giratina. Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? <laughs> is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake-up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all d guess what Commander what wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. I love this mask. This mask is wonderful. It's a great mystery gift. All right, Commander, what's going on? You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. On to the next one. When the word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. 
The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. There's another place! I thought there was only gonna be five! There's another place! <laughs> which is especially interesting, because the Mount Cornet Highlands leads to frickin' Stone Pillar. So you'd think that would be the final place, but no, neat. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Sir, yes, sir. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then... There's a sixth area! There's a sixth area! No matter how many of these frenzied Pokémon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. At this point, I think you're that person. You're the only one. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. New place. Yeah! Silene, what happened? <laughs> She's scared of a little wormple. Abra, teleport this wormple outside at once! <laughs> she has she has an Abra specifically for bug control. <laughs> that amuses me. Ahem. So, you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you I guess climate you'll face in all of Hisui. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Alright. There is a new mission. God damn it! She's missing again! Now, where is the girl I was hoping for? Wanda's constant savior, Neon. I'm afraid the day has finally come. This time, Wanda couldn't even find her way back from the Obsidian Fieldlands. <laughs> it's practically our own backyard, right? She should know her way around, so I'm worried that something happened to her. I'd really appreciate some help from you and that Urs uh, Ursaluna. Use the scent from Wanda's raggedy old kerchief and search her out for me. Wanda has to be somewhere out there in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Find her for me, please. Lost in the Fieldlands. Ooh, and another. Hoot, 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 hoot. More missions. More missions. Hello again. Would you do me a quick little favor? Sure. Don't worry. It's very simple. Could you bring me a hundred minutes of the... Why? I'm going to... I guess I could do that. What? What? These leaks are well known for growing practically all over the region. They're also called Wayfarer's Friends. Knowing you, I bet you could gather a hundred of them in your sleep. Once you have a hundred medicinal leaks, can you spare? Please bring them on by. What am I even gonna get for that? Adamant Mint and Modest Mint. Well, I have to buy... 52 of the damn things. At least I can sell a decent amount of uh, things as well to buy them. But it's gonna cost so much. Okay. What do you need me to find this time? Oh. Never. Never, you whelp. You're definitely a sum. Oh, dear customer. I'm sorry you had to see that. I asked Tao Hua to supply me with some new goods, but he simply won't do business with me. I truly hate to keep him posing like this, but would you please try to make him see reason? You'd do well to bring him a token of goodwill, perhaps some sand radishes. Three ought to do. Ooh, new wares, yet again. Alright. Let's see, what can I sell? I still think that the... The dude that's like, give me 40,000 diddly D, and I'll teach you. Probably has a, 
a no cap. It's probably eternal. What the hell's that? I can just buy the sand radishes. <laughs> All right, now I need to 52 of these things. My wallet. But lol. Lol. I could just buy the sand radishes right here. The color of your clothing can make all the difference in the world, don't you think? Yeah! I knew you'd agree. You want to dress up in your favorite color, don't you? I want to make clothing in new colors, but I can't get a hold of the right materials. If you happen to have red shards, blue shards, and green shards! Oh, one of each. I think I should be... Oh, wait. How about your request? So yeah, from the looks of it, I probably don't have. Because I kept turning them into money. Or maybe I just need them from my box. I've come up with the perfect pickle recipe thanks to Geodude. Aren't you curious? You bet I am. <coughs> Tell you what, my dear. Help me gather the ingredients and I'll teach you the recipe. I'll need two hunks of crunchy rot, two pods of plump beans, and two bunches of king's leaf. I should have all that. Well, actually, I think I have that right here. Let's get picking. Pickling. You handed over two hunks, two pods, and two bunches. Lovely. I already have the sand radishes I need, so let's get pickling. Good thing you don't need sand radishes. I need to give them to the, the angry old man. Now for the final step. All we need to do is place Judud on top of the pot, and it's done. He evolved! Oh no! He's gonna crack the pot! Graveler! Gosh, Judo changed shape! Is this the evolution business I've heard people talk about? And what about the pickles? Oh my, this is twice as good as I expected. I'll call it the twice spiced radish. It truly is the perfect pickle dish. Why, with the help of Pokemon, there's no limits to what a cook can accomplish. Thank you so much for helping me out. The perfect pickle recipe. Why spiced radish? He didn't destroy it. Good job, boy. Alright, now to put a bunch of things away. I need the sand radishes. Oh, I'm gonna have to sell that. Ah, I can sell it from the diddly dee. Alright, now I need to bring over plates. I hope I have one of each. I think I only have a blue plate. Oh wait, no, there's a red plate. And I have one of each! I have one of each, yes, I have one of each. I have one of each. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Speed! I am speed! Speed! Oh wait, uh, but I will sell my... I will sell you my... Go oh, uh, over here. My bed. I'm stupid. Woot woot. And now I'll go give him to the dude. Give him, give him, give him, give him, give him to the dude. I'll give him, I'll give him, I'll give him to the dude, dude, dude. Do, 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 this is a Pokemon game, so probably not lovers. Ah, the survey corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Hollow. I'm sorry you keep getting roped into errands on my account. To tell you the truth, I'd be happy to just get my core products out of the shop for free. But that'd mean letting Choi off the hook, and the very idea of that sets my teeth gnashing. Are you bound by the Alabaster Iceland soon? Would you bring me back three sand radishes? I already have them. Oh, you're back with the veggies. Well done! Gathering them with the harsh climate. Would you let me have three sand radishes? Sure thing, my dude. Ah, sand radishes! The Alabaster Iceland's finest feature! If you give these bitter roots a nice thorough pickling, it brings out a unique sweetness. Once they're pickled, they make for a lovely, crisp, and quite well-liked snack. My granddaughter makes a fine pickle, I'll tell you what. Perhaps I'll ask her to give you one of these a nice briny soak. Anyway, I'm sorry to have kept you using you as a go-between with Choi. I suppose it's time I had a proper conversation with the Whelp.
I mean, considering all your conversations seem to be is, I won't help you! Seems to kind of point to breakdown in communication. Now listen, I'll set you up some new goods, but as a favor to Neon, not you. Don't think for one second this means I've accepted you. But tell who was, sir. Oh, please, Grandpa. I can't believe this is still an issue for you. He just married the dude's granddaughter, didn't he? That's what he fucking did. Yui, how long have you been... What? Is our little store not worthy to sell your goods? Talk about letting personal feelings get in the way of your business. If you keep this up, Grandpa, I swear I'll never speak to you again. Ah, but why, sweet Yui? You swore you'd never get married to leave your poor gramps. <laughs> <laughs> it's a silly reason. I thought it might be dramatic. No, it's silly. <laughs> Who in their right mind takes a tiny child's word so seriously? <laughs> I'm so sorry my grandpa has been such a bother to you, Neon. I hope this doesn't put you off visiting our shop. Why didn't you just say, the old man is angry at me for marrying his daughter? <laughs> That's all you had to say. Why'd you keep it ambiguous? Well, in any case, we've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. That's hilarious. <laughs> Taokua is stupid and I love him. He's so stupid, I love him. Why did you leave your poor grabs alone? <laughs> Alright. Well, only one. Let's see. Any new missions anywhere else? About to the Icelands. Woot woot! Woot woot! Woot! The grandest of woods. Oh wait, did I, I haven't checked up on my harvest in a million years, have I? Oh, great timing. Crops turned out real nice, just as planned. Two medicinal leaks, eight bug beans. Mint harvest. I got money. Oh yeah, and I, then I can turn in the other thing for those mints. It's not covered in leaves, not a rock in sight. I'm telling you, Burmy is a Pokemon with a cloak made of leaves. No, no, Burmy cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. Ha, huh, if that ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy has an interesting point of view. Ha, <laughs> this conversation is getting us nowhere. Are you both sure you've actually seen a Burmy before? It wasn't some other Pokemon. I'm gonna have to catch three fucking Burmy, aren't I? We might ask you the same thing. I've seen Burmy here in Hisui, and I've seen him back in my own region, too. And guess what? They're all covered in trash! Oh my, you must have gotten confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you, we're just repeating the same arguments over and over at this point. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We could figure out which of us is right. Quick, uh, if someone brought us an actual Burmy, catch one and show it to us, would you? With the real Burmy, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Come out, Burmy. Yep, this is a Burmy, all right. It's similar, dear, I'll grant you that, but this must be a different species. Yeah, I ain't buying it. This ain't a Burmy. Well, if the real deal can't convince these two, I guess we'll need to look at the fake Burmy, too. Could you try to catch both the so-called Burmy that my companions here were talking about? Do I have them? Oh, nope, I don't have them. Darn. Great, now I'm going to have to go on a Burmy hunt. Uh! We'll go talk, because I think we got a decent amount of spirits, so we can get another reward from the girl. From the girl. 67. 40 more to find. Since you've gathered 60 wish, here's a little thank you present. Five grip pebble. Find three more, and I'll give you a reward. Woot woot. I wonder... You have you weren't there before. You got something to say? You can prove in the village for all, blah blah blah. But where is that unknown? Hang on. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, my sinuses cannot take awesome for too long. 
<laughs> You're gonna drain me of all my medicines, lady. Fine, here's your 100 medicinal leaves. As you gathered 100 leeks, will you give them to me? Sure, here you go. 100 medicine. Ah, what fine leeks. This will be enough to make plenty of medicine. I'm always running out. Well, with our constant stream, stream of injured colleagues. This way, the medicine corps can prepare a nice stock for the folks who can't craft their own medicines like you can. Adamant and modest mint. What do these do? When a Pokemon smells this mint, its special attack will grow more easily, but its attack will grow more slowly. Huh. So basically, if you want a special attacker, you feed them that. Hmm. Oh god, that feels like late game technology. Late game technology! Late game technology! See something you like? It's yours, my friend. And it's only 500. Uh, oh, wait, I forgot. I can do that, too. I forgot. I forgot. I have the color shards. I have colored shards. For you. About your request. I have them right here. You hand it over. Red, blue, green. They're Pokemon game cases, aren't they? Red, blue, and green. Haha. <laughs> Such beautiful shards. I'm sure these will work perfectly. Now then, let me try and dye something. I can make anything into a beautiful dye if I cook it down in the trusty cauldron inside my shop. <laughs> Yummy clothes. A color more beautiful than even I imagined. And all thanks to you, my dear. I do hope you enjoy the different looks that different colors bring to your outfits. Well, let's take a look then, shall we? Buy clothing. Buy Clothrargan. Buy Clothrargan. 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 Fear the Clothrargan. Well, I'll put away some items. My, my poor leeks! <laughs> my poor leeks! My poor leeks! Let me guess. Oh, wait, I need to get my team in order. My team in order! I huh? left one of my boys! All right, you can be here in the unknown corner. If I wanted a Sneasel team, because it's fighting poison. All right, you can go over here the, the, into the unknown corner. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, we're kind of getting there to the twenty-eight. Well, damn it, I think I misplaced my Infernape. Oh, and we filled up all the way to them. Neat. Electric grass! Oh. Okay, that explains why I just got fucked by Lord Electrode. Now, where did I put Infernape? Because he'll come in handy in an ice region, surely. Ah, but I want to level up a Piplup, but he won't be much help in an ice region. Oh, hey, look! It's a Fion! Stolen. Stolen. Organize the legendaries into the box. I still need to find my Infernape. I 
and the rest of the legendaries. Uh, there you are, my good Infernape. Can't believe I almost forgot you. Ah, interesting. All right, now let's go get beat up by Ray, because he'll probably want to fight. So well to make to the Alabaster Icelands. And that's right. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our go own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalok out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalok's as huge and strong as they say, there's a good chance he could start an avalanche. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. And so does lightning, and uh, rain, and a ton of things. I confess, I still have my doubts as whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Neon out there, we'll be putting her in danger of real harm. But people say the frenzies make the nobles suffer, right? So wouldn't it be a kindness for us to quell the Lord? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokémon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that Commander hopes will come about from our quelling of nobles? Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokémon of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? Laventon is having second thoughts about Commando just like I am. A way to coexist? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokémon. Professor? Ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless I'm just being a silly sausage. I think he's from the future. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Neon? That... Then we will support you in it. How about I offer you my support by giving you another shot at honing your battle skills? I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still glad to get to battle you. Are you a lot, you know? If you hadn't tumbled down to us, I might never have learned to battle alongside Pikachu. Survey Cole Ray challenged you to a battle. Oh God, we're gonna run into the Misfortune Sisters again! Aren't we? Ah, you have a Mr. Mime. Faster. Air Slash. Destroy him! Don't give him quarter. Strong style! Mr. Mime is down to the count. What's next? Pikachu and... Ah. Of course you go first. I know just who to destroy you. Maybe. Go, Infernape! Punch this bird out of the sky! Thunder Punch! Kinda wish you could swap Pokemon while they're swapping Pokemon. Why do you go twice? Now I will send out Akuma. I'll revive my dear boy. Oh! Well then. <laughs> That's not good at all. 
Looks like Robin's gonna be missing out on this experience. Destroy the Pikachu! I wanted Robin to get some experience, but we couldn't risk it. Iron Tail is definitely a challenge. <laughs> the way you battle makes fighting with Monkside Pokemon look like the most natural thing. Good luck on your mission in the Icelands. This sounds like it'll be a perilous one, dealing with a huge Pokemon like Avalok. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my girl. But before we go... Yep, we can head up there now, but we can't... That's going to be the final area. Ooh. I knew... I kind of suspected that up there was going to be a place. Let's see. Is there anywhere here that really would benefit from... You. We'll go there and uh, check for the lady and... I'm going to get that unknown in the tree. I'm going to get that unknown in the tree. I'm going to get the unknown in the tree. What, what? I thought you said that you were going to go to the Icelands, Professor. Hmm. Nothing. She might be... She's in the tree, isn't she? It's kind of interesting seeing... Sneasel, uh, Sneasler out here. I can't wait. I find it hilarious that all this time, I just kind of was cheesing shit. Like, instead of actually going the way I was supposed to, oh, I, and uh, climbing rocks, I'm just like, fuck it. And I instead just jumped up rocks like nobody's business and got to places I should not have been at all. I'm here to fight. Eek, help! Oh, please, I don't want to sprout mushrooms. We're gonna kill you, bitch! Why is poison strong against grass, apparently? These bastards are gonna throw Venus shock at me left and right, I bet. Level 50! Why are they level 50? They have no business being level 50. They just have no purpose being level 50. Okay, good. It wasn't a Venus Shock. Now you're going to use Venus Shock, aren't you, you bastard? Nope, X-Scissor. Huh, odd if I attack you, it says that you won't get a turn. Probably because it knows you're going to die. Don't risk it. Get two attacks in. Woot woot. Robin to the rescue. Thank you. I swear I'd never survive here in Hisui without you as a teammate. I came to patrol because I know some of the villagers come out here to hunt for mushrooms. While keeping an eye out for them, I ended up hunting around a bit for... To, uh, Myself for some fines, but the mushrooms ended up hunting the bee. I guess my brother is probably a mess worrying about me again, huh? But you're so good at battling, probably even better suited to, to the security corps than I am. Wrong way. And this time we'll get there, and he won't. She'll be dead. That would be really dark, you think about it, if like, go find my sister, and then you just find her corpse. Pokemon would never do it. But what if?
The day that Pokemon have the balls to put out a game with a dead body in it. And I mean more than a ghost type. Alright, but we're gonna head to the tree because we need to climb that tree and get to the unknown. And here all this time I thought we'd get a flying Pokemon. Maybe it's just a gliding Pokemon. Maybe it doesn't know the HM fly. Out of the way, bucko. Out of the way, bugs. Loads of money! Okay, once you actually get up here, the... Uh... How am I supposed to get there? Ah, there we go. Hello. Loads of money! They specifically do not let you catch unknown. Unless you're like actually doing it the proper way. I find that funny. The grand tree cannot be climbed all the way. But that should be it for this place. But there's one more place that I want to check out. There's one place that I want to check out. I keep forgetting that unknown count as a Pokemon. That's stupid, but I'm, I'm serious. Oh, I guess, yeah, that counts. <laughs> Loads of money. 50 cents of money. Yeah, now we're going to go to the coast because I want to climb that, that place with the cavern. I'm going to climb that goddamn thing. That every single time that we kind of like uh, go to a place and then it goes kind of uh, echoey really interests me. Is this all even real? God, if it turns... I want this place to be real and like not erased. Yeah, because we need to go over the mountain. And I'm going to head to the spring path. And the turn back cave. It sounds freaking scary. Turn back cave. But what the hell is in it? I wants to know. I gots to know. I just gots to know what the hell is in that cave. <laughs> Because I have no idea what's going to be in there. Now, where does this lead? Ah, up here. Hello, Growlithe. I don't think I've caught a Growlithe yet. Fine, I'll escape. Or it will not follow. One of these days, when locked onto a Pokemon, it's gonna say unobtainable. Also, you know, this implies that Arcanine has been fucking. And that's why there's so many Growlithe running around now. Dear God, it's getting late. This game just sucks me in way too much. Also helps that I kind of started on time this time instead of super early. Yeah, let's see what the hell is actually in here. Echoey cries.
as elf or who's elf? It has to be. It's them. At least one of them. The, the Lake Trio. Well, maybe they won't show themselves just yet. We have to do more to earn them. But okay. Yeah, because I'm hearing the cries of the lake tree out here. I'm sure of it. There's no... Nothing else that it could be. But hey, at least that confirms something for me. The lake... Uh, something to do with the lake trio is here. They don't have empty caves for no... Hello. Loads of money. Yeah, the spring by the lake. Or... The spring by the sea. That one was that one. I'm gonna have to go through and just not... Well, I guess uh, extra nice is that they actually mark... Which one is which? That's nice. But Jesus Christ, I love this game. I love this game! So much to do! So much to do. We got a Growlithe and an Unknown. Woot woot. But I can't wait. I can't wait. But yeah, that'll have to be it for now, because it is getting late, but god, I love this game. And we spent the first two hours trying to do side quest stuff. In fact, what side quest do we have now? Uh, I was I was about to be super excited, because it's like, I can climb now, but I can't climb in the village. They won't let me play my instrument in the village. But yeah, now, yeah, there's not that much. Oh yeah, that, we'll have to grind that next time. I'll get a Tortwig in the meantime. We Miss Drevis is either in the Mount Cornet Highland or in the uh, Icelands. And I guess I can look for the different Burmese. Oh, wait, I can turn that in. Me dumb. Me very dumb. Turn in the find her in the field lands, because, dear God, I hope she doesn't get lost in the ice lands. She's just, she'd just die. She would just die. She's alive! Thank you for saving Wanda yet again. I'm so glad we got the survey core to rely on. I was chilled to my morrow when I heard my sister was caught up in a Pokemon attack this time. If only she could just get herself assigned to patrolling the village for a while, nice and safe. Three star pieces, my dude. Thank you. Yeah, there's so much to do. It's just like, I'm still intrigued by the fact that we actually saw the Palkia and Dialga statues. Oh, good. He's not here, so she's safe, at least for now. Thank God. But yeah, this is going to be the final area because the various things like, oh, his arc is tied up. Anything else? Nope. So, yeah. So many Pokemon. So many Pokemon. But yeah, I love this game. There's so much to do, and there's so much mystery. So much mystery and intrigue, and even though there's only slight moments to be like getting people's thoughts into what is or isn't Sinnoh and its will, it's just like super interesting. Because we still don't really know everything. But yeah, I'll probably grab a Turtwig on my own, grab the Burmese on my own, and then. 
Next time we will grind out the Clefairies. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it because we still can't find the fucking Shurim. <laughs> but yeah, this is very fun. And the fact that I found the Lake Trio Cave and they're going to be there eventually, probably from a Laventon request. Yeah, and we're up to the requests in the 70s. So the way I see it, the way I see it is, in fact, let me see. What is the main quest's numbering right now? Number 12. My guess, the main story will go to 15. There might be a post story that goes to 20. And the post game requests might go to 100. I think that might be it. Something around those numbers. Just, uh... No more than 20 store, uh, main story missions, and no more than 100 requests. So, yeah, this is basically a safe bet. But yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. There's so much to do. There's so many Pokemons that I need to catch. And, uh, don't know. I do not know. I do not know. I don't think I've maxed out a area, though. I don't think I've caught all the Pokemon there, so... I've ran into 69 po- or, uh, that's maybe not even run into, that's just, uh, ones that I- or maybe- nope, that's seen. Yeah, 69 seen, 59 seen, 74 seen, 66 seen, 55 seen, and a decent amount of them actually caught, all things considered. What are the ones in the field lands that I haven't caught? Togepi. Yeah, I did see a Togepi once in the field lands. I don't have a... I've never caught a Cascoon? No, I caught them, but I haven't finished it. Ah, that's why. Me dumb. Need to finish Duskox, Floatzel, Snatler, Bibril, Parasect, Pichu, Kadabra. I guess if I just evolved you, it would be dude. And so yeah, Staraptor Glaceon. Glaceon naturally appears. Habitat unknown. Nope. So it's just fucking line with that. Happiny, we haven't finished you. Chimcharm. So yeah, quite a... And I guess, yeah. Oops. Oh, Crimson Mirelands. So it's found in one place. I don't know why it's listed under the Obsidian Fieldlands, though, then. This is just like, oh, it evolves from a thing, so it has to be there. That's stupid. So yeah, just a lot to max out there. Since it takes the... I'll have to evolve a choke. <gasps> Link cable. I could, I, could, I could do that right now. Sorry, team. I'm going to evolve a choke right now, just because I can. I have Link cables. Why not? I don't think why not's in this game. Sadness. Move one. Move one. We're gonna move a Machoke out. Well, yeah, a Machoke. We're gonna evolve it into a Machamp, and we're gonna have that. Woot woot. Man, this game's pay to win. If you pay online, you don't have to use link cables. That's only partially a joke. Thank you, ranch lady, for taking care of my Pokemon. Don't know how you take care of ghosts, but thank you. Machoke, evolve! Basically, I need to do that more. Just evolve a bunch of Pokemon with the things I have on hand. He looks so angry. Woot woot. Nice. And now 70 in the field lands. God, I have so much to do. So much to do! We haven't run into a Vaporeon. Hmm. At least I don't think so. But yes, anyway. Thank you very much for watching. There's so much to do, so much that I've done, and I love this game. Electrode was probably the best noble fight, and we have one more to go. It's going to be against a big boy. But yeah, I love this game. This game is amazing. This game is fantastic. I can't wait for more. I can't wait to do the post-game. 
and I can't wait to see if there's any DLC, if the if so allows. What is Volo's deal? We still don't know what Volo's deal is. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Icy Wings. This has been more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Love this game. And if you want more from me, I have an edited YouTube content channel where you can uh, watch some, uh, basically just the past videos I've made because uh, life is mean and I haven't gotten around to scripting and editing new things in a while. But I will get back to it someday. Neon Icy Wings at YouTube. And then if you want to catch up on streams that uh, have gone by, you can hit up my archive channel, Neon Icy Games, on YouTube. And if you're one of those people that are watching one of these archives on Neon Icy Games, then you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv Neon Icy Wings. I usually start between 5 or 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, but since I'm playing a bunch of Pokemon Arceus lately, that has gone out the window, and now I basically start anywhere from 3 to 5, because I love this game. But, 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 uh... If you want other things from me, such as art, I'm trying to draw more. You can see me draw things, the works of my fruits of my labor, on Twitter, Tumblr, Buzzly.art, DeviantArt, and uh, Newgrounds. Most of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Icy Wings. This has been Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.